release of Manor Lords. Woo! In early access. Good to see you all back. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you're all enjoying the weekend. Yeah, brother. Uh, yeah, good to have everybody back, locked in, and ready to go for more uh, city building action, more uh, kingdom building action, more army building action in a game that is uh, very highly anticipated. Now, we're going to take a look at a game mode that we haven't yet seen before on the channel. Uh, I dabbled in it just a little bit, like twice or something, but not, not really. We haven't really jumped into it yet, and it's called On the Edge, which allows us to defend against uh, countless waves of bandits and invaders. Um, the traditional game mode in this game is like there's another lord on the map, and you're supposed to clear the map of that lord, take the whole territory, and uh, win, basically. And then more than likely have an open-ended ending where you can keep building cities afterwards. But um, anyway, this game mode is like, hey, build a city, uh, mini cities if you'd like to, and you'll be doing so under the, co uh, the threat of invasion. So, And it seems to be one of the more challenging ones because you're constantly being invaded. And uh, there's constant war and fighting, and uh, more than likely militia will be more important than retinue, and we'll see how it all goes. So anyway, welcome aboard. Thank you very much for getting locked in. You guys are awesome. Welcome, and uh, <laughs> not long now till you can all play. Only five-ish days now. Really cool to actually see that up on screen. Less than a week, less about like a, a business week now, you know? Just five days, Monday through Friday. Friday, it is out. Could also be less than that, too. This is just approximate, by the way, so don't take the... Uh, the time is exact. It could be off by a few hours, which is, you know, hopefully good. Hopefully it's earlier than that. All right, let's go ahead and start a brand new game. Now, we'll go back to our other game in a few days, probably just before release or on release day. We'll go back to the good old, uh, you know, Wentworth and, uh, uh, what is it, Medvedi, Mesto, and all that. And we'll continue to build there. We've got three cities, major cities going in that one. Actually, kind of like one and a half major cities in a new city. And we'll build more. But it is time now to do the thing that we've wanted to do for a long time. Now, we already have a coat of arms made for this one, and we've already kind of chosen a guy from our last dabbling in it. So we're going to go with this guy, Sir Barrington, by the way. Lord Barrington. There we go. Now, I'm going to roll the dice a little bit. I do want to play in a region that we haven't played before, so that way it's kind of fresh and new. Actually, I think we played in all the regions, to be honest, but I want to play in a region where, um, you know, we haven't really done much, so it's kind of fresh. So let's do that. So we may roll the dice a few times just to make sure it's uh, good to go. All right, end goal. Uh, growth. Uh, let's see. Raider frequency medium. No more than a single raid every two years. Raider fee free years. Start with one. Okay, th we're going to go with the default difficulty because, again, early access, so I don't know how balanced it is. We'll see. Uh, oh, apparently uh, a free weapon delivery for militia as soon as the player builds the storehouse and five residential plots. Okay, so the king will send us some weapons to, like, forcibly secure these lands. So we're like the cops. We're showing up and, like, restoring order. I know, exactly. That's exactly what I thought, uh, is that that guy looks like Sir Longarm from uh, Stronghold. Exactly what I thought, too. I always forgot his name, though. I thought his name was, like, Lord Wool Woolsock or something. I'm like, that's not it. And that must be from... Like Anna or something. Residential requirements balanced. What is that? Town will not grow. If requirements are unfulfilled. I feel like we could also do challenging, but I just don't know how like balanced out that is. Because I still feel like water placement, like well placement, like wells are not that important. Like there's fires, but if a building burns down, it just kind of auto rebuilds. So whether you put the fire out or not, it's just kind of it's kind of just a, a thing that happens, and it, it's just cool to watch. All right. So, the on the edge game mode. Premise, grow your city and raise forces as quickly as you can. The lands are pestered by raiders and undefended settlements will quickly perish. Victory conditions, survive all the attacks and reach the large town settlement level. So we just need to build one big city to large town status. I don't think that's that hard, but, uh, you know, we will see. Uh, but I, I kind of want to build multiple cities and it'll be interesting to see multiple raids. So, uh, yeah, are we all ready? Are we all locked in? I think we should do it. Let's go. Now I'm going to be re-rolling the map if it's somewhere I don't like. If, we, if we've already played there before, I want to do something fresh and new to make sure I don't kind of like stick to the same designs to really challenge myself. Woolsock is the other advisor, the economy advisor? I don't even remember that guy. Woolsock. All right. Victory conditions growth. Where others see trouble, you see potential. These lands shall become rich and prosperous under your skillful management. Reach large town settlement to achieve victory. Prosperity awaits. 
Okay, and of course we started <laughs> somewhere where we've already built before. This is where we built our beautiful town with the church up on the hill. Pretty, pretty. All right, let's uh, go again. It's all good. Da -da 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 -da. This may take a, a few restarts, but no, no biggie. Okay. Nope. Yep. Go again. We roll again. Hmm. Oh, this looks promising. Where are we? Are we in the middle? Oh, lower left side. Oh, okay. This is where we just started building our new city. In the previous save, so we'll go again. Lord Barrington. <laughs> that is a sweet coat of arms, though. That's probably one of the coolest ones we've made so far. So far. Wish you a happy stream. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Coily, thank you very much. Sir Barrington, that's right. All right, we're back in the same one again. We'll get it right. We'll get it right. Just kind of randomized. Lord Barrington. All right, third time's the charm, question mark. Let's see. Oh, open area. This looks promising. I think this might be where I want to be. Oh, come on. Same spot again. I thought, I thought we we're gonna be over on the right side. Come on, baby. Gotta roll them dice. It's like Vegas. Vegas lords. Come on, baby. Come on. Give me give me the sweet, sweet right side of the map. Okay. Uh lower left corner. Almost there. Bum, 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 bum. What's up, Kovas? It's Crazy Canoe from Canada. Hello. Good morning to you. Welcome. Good morning. All right, chat. I'm okay. It's been putting me repeatedly in these two counties on the left. You know, I'm going to do a full game restart, see if I can jumble up those RNGs, try to get those mixed up like Boggle. We're, we're mixing up the numbers, seeing if we can get some good vibes in. I want that right side of the map, man. Give me somewhere I haven't built too much. I want I want a, I want a fresh new start. No. Force of habit almost put my name in there. No! Damn it, it defaults into the middle version. Now now it'll start me on the right side, won't it? Uh Bama Bama of course. Okay, that was a better start, but let's make sure we do the right game mode this time. You know what would be nice is a little thing where you can just maybe under advanced pick your starting region. Like maybe it would show the map and then the, the starting region so you can kind of just pick one. Oh, yep, same deal again. Uh, tell me a secret of how you can play a game so long. I always get bored after two hours. Well, I think maybe because I'm streaming, I get people to, to like to talk to and ask questions, and you know, it's rewarding to have people come in and be like, "Wow, dude, your city's awesome!" Like, how how do you make a city like that? And I'll be like, "Oh, I made a video on it." They're like, "Cool, thanks." Like, there's just a, a nice, um, you know, we have a nice conversation, nice back and forth. People who um, have questions, suggestions, it's nice. Oh, here we go. This is it. Okay, lower right corner. Now let's check for fertility. Ooh, very good fertility, y'all. Okay. I was hoping for one at Goldhof, but we're going to build in Goldhof in the future. So I was either hoping for these these two up here, the one in the lower right corner, and maybe even Goldhof. But I think this is good enough. Plus we get a river, which is sweet. And we can kind of build on a slope here. We actually kind of built here before. In like one of our first starts, and uh, this will be perfect, absolutely perfect. But what about like uh, flax? Flax is great. Barley, oh great, oh wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. 
Couldn't be better. All right, we're starting now. We're locked in. Here we go. A new message. I'll read it again. Uh, victory condition growth. Where others see trouble, you see potential. These lands shall become rich and prosperous under your skillful management. Reach the large town settlement level to achieve victory. Prosperity awaits. New objectives reach settlement level, large town. All right. The bear... The bear... The, your stronghold awaits you. The bears await you. Now, let's see if we can actually, like, uh, diplomacy with these guys. So we're against bandits, huh? They're going to constantly be attacking. Let's see. Are they actually... Oh, there's no no diplomacy at all. But are there bandit camps? There could be. Maybe in the future there will be. Love when there's little bandit camps, then we can go attack them. Actually helps us out quite a bit. All right. What do we got? So we got some stone and iron, clay, animals, berries... And to our north, berry deposit. Lots of iron to the north, too. <sighs> yeah, this is uh, early access on the uh, countdown timer upper right corner. Everyone should be able to play. All right, let's get started. First of all, I think we can cut down all the trees in the middle. For wait, wait, wait. We've got to find where to put the church, right? Church we could put maybe over... I think we've already built here before, but we'll put the church kind of in the middle of town, but also kind of up high. Maybe here-ish? It's all, it looks all like a slope. Let's actually confirm that. It's a gentle one, though. Pretty. Okay, I think we got it. Get that logging camp locked in. Oh, there's also a road here. Well, let me see if I can see the road. Oh, it looks like it just passes through here. Okay. There's our main road here. Let's see. That's where I want to put the church. We'll start with a, a grid square there, or just at least a straight line. Just to kind of mark that. We'll make changes to it later. Okay, let's make some nice roads. <laughs> roads? Chat, where we're going, we're going to need some roads. I hate to say it, but we will need roads. And they're a delight to build. We want to go all the way up there. A little bit more of a curve. Eh, a little bit more. Hey. Alright, that looks, that looks good. And then... We need our tier a spot for tier 1 homes, which could be down here. Luckily, we got both food sources next to each other. And an area for logging will probably be back here. But then again, I don't want to keep it too far away. Maybe we'll log here and then renew it. Actually, I don't know if we want... Um, hmm. YouTube chat, you guys see the, the pin message, by the way, right? The big blue pin message up at the top. Oh, also, we need to uh, do this, too. Does, oh, that's a good question. Somebody asked the other day, does the gradient of the road impact travel times? I don't think so. I think people can walk at the same, and animals and stuff can walk at the same speed. No matter what. There we go. Somebody asked that the other day, I think, in the comments section. I was like, oh, I don't know. And I kind of tried to pay attention to it. And I don't, I don't think I don't think so. Let's just say that. 
Wow, Victoria Sweet with the five bomb for the chatty chatters. Let's go. Thank you, Victoria. Party boats in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Good morning to you. Welcome. Okay, we're going to make a little uh, industrial area here. Or, uh, well, I guess food. We need food first. And a good uh, little neighborhood for the tier one burgage plots. We'll make a nice little area for the tier ones. Did she just do it again? Wait. Yeah, oh, wow. It was a five and a one. Thank you very much. I played so many rounds of Transport Fever 2. Was it, oh, I see. It makes you wonder, yeah. Yeah, if Transport Fever looked like this, damn. I, I want every game to have this appearance with its grass and stuff. That would be super cool. Okay, so I wanted to do uh, a little industrial area here for these trees. Now wait, we do need to build a manor too to defend the village and it could be close to the village too. A little bit of a hill here, that'd be good. I don't want it to be too close to the village though. But maybe in these trees. If I cut down all these trees, and then we can put farm fields around. This is kind of what I did last time we built here. But since the land is fertile everywhere, I do. ever since the, the demo, I've wanted to build farms on, on the hill. And I mean, this is just perfect. So that's probably where we're going to farm. And there is a road that goes down that way. Looks like we need to. Victoria hitting the five bomb again. Is this, is this Hell Divers 2? Like we're getting so many orbital strikes. Oh, let's build back here. This is beautiful. Can I build another intersection thingy here? Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, Transport Fever 2 is kind of another cool city builder. It's different because you're building cities not necessarily by literally building them, but by like supplying them, like building infrastructure so they can kind of build themselves. It's a different way. But I think it still counts as a, a city builder, honestly. Uh, let me build it like that. Okay, a slow start, folks, but I got things locked in. Lord Greg would be proud. Build that real close to the edge. Then a... Hitching post, please. Get our second oxen up. Then we need, of course, the firewood cutter. Maybe I can build it off this way. Build stuff a little not 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 so square this time. Maybe we'll kind of. I don't want that. I want rotating this way. There we go. I don't want to uproot uproot any trees. Uh, All right, we'll go square. Get to work, and then we should probably build our storage depot, meow. Jackson, welcome back as a raptor egg dude. Thank you for the support. Raiders are near. We've received reports of a band of raiders roaming the nearby lands. Should we track their steps? They'll be here in a year. 
They're scouting us out. They're, they're about to attack. Build that there. All right, let's start with that. So we got the storehouse woodcutter. Obviously, this needs to be first. The logging camp. And we also need a granary up. Which will build our mar area for our market. Yeah, AI takes the wheel and transport fever. They gotta make uh, more DLC for that. That's not just like, I don't know. We've added new vehicles. Like, no, give me a new campaign, man. Give me a new country to build in. All right. We'll be playing content warning in the future, uh, probably. Like uh, first, first we gotta wait for Manor Lords to release. But I'm gonna now that we're kind of a week away, and we've done a lot of videos and content. I'm gonna pull back a little bit on Manor Lords, just a little bit. We're gonna still feature it every day. But I also wanted to play some other stuff like Lasara Summit Kingdom again, and uh, a few other things that I just thought were fun and or uh, upcoming stuff, more stuff and things. Don't quote me. So let's try... Oh, you missed the old Transport Fever challenges? Yeah. That was a... Transport Fever 1 still a great game. Hell, I, I remember in 2014 being in my friend's uh, bedroom in the Netherlands and we were on his computer, Elmox, that is, looking at um, pictures for... Uh, train fever from long ago. They just featured trains. And I'd be like, oh man, it'd be cool if they made like multiple vehicles. Then they did. And that became Transport Fever. Now, we got Transport Fever 2. Oh, EPEC is every product, every city. Really? I had no idea. Well, that sounds cool. Where does this church end? We gotta swing it a little bit to the right. You know, it's funny, I'm putting all this time into the city, it's probably just gonna burn down anyway. From Raiders! Okay, that's a little better. And then we want it to go to about there. Just using this to put down a market. What we should do is put maybe a main road down, like this. And then markets on either side would be kind of cool. Markets, I think, are free to build. There's no... You're basically just marking an area. 15 and 15, right? Should be, hopefully. Yeah, good. Perfect. Beautiful. That's a nice layout right there. Now, I know I've always tried to stay away from gridiron, but I've actually started to embrace it in this game because legitimately building... Uh, square plots for the t where you plan to build tier two, but more especially like the tier three buildings are so chunky that if you put them on an angle, sometimes half the house hangs out into the road and it looks a little weird if you put it on a corner. So it's kind of a good idea to do a gridiron for where you intend to put those for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, train, no, uh, yeah, train fever was their first game, but I love playing open TTD on this channel. You guys will see us play more of that too. Me, Uthris, Elmox love open TTD. It ain't pretty to look at, but that doesn't matter. It's fun to play with friends. You only recently found me on Twitch? Yeah, I've been streaming here again uh, for like the last four months. But streaming on YouTube at, as, at the same time as well. Something fresh and exciting. Mixing it up a little bit. Yeah, we're going to build a gridiron area to the right. That'll be our future tier one, uh, tier threes. Probably build those later. All right, that's enough layout for that. Let's get the tier ones going. And a nice big old burgage plot for the, uh, the veggies. And I think, well, what we could do is grow a bunch of trees here. I, I want to cut all this down to make room for our manor and then leave that blank. P putting a fort right here would be perfect because it's actually kind of right between the... There's like a road that goes to the north and a road that goes to the south and also a road that kind of goes this way to 
Well, let's just say this is north and south, and then the road in the west that goes north. So that'd be perfect to defend right there. Uh, it's almost right in the middle of the region. Uh, I think the enemy, if they attack, will come from, you know, maybe up here, maybe down there. It's close enough to the city. I've, I've usually built the manors kind of far away, uh, because that lets me um, kind of put them up on a, a hill. But here, here we are on the hill, so... This is good. Alright, let's on pause and let's begin. Now, where are we going to do those tier 1s? I wouldn't mind starting with a couple tier 1s down here. We can always move them. In fact, I'm never going to log over here because I don't like to log where there's, you know, our food, food source. And since actually we're already going to be doing hunting here... I already forgot to build our hunter and our forager. Build a little road for him. Good. Can't wait for this to release so you can play it. Yep. Five days, three hours, 27 minutes. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Oh, Stu, thanks for the 41 months as a member, dude. Appreciate the big old support. Maybe we'll build the uh, granary a little closer to the middle. Nah, let's put it closer to the actual food source. Yep. And then... I feel like we've got a little... Actually, I think maybe in this map, building everything close together would be a good idea. Because we can actually... We're out of materials. Uh, if we build all of our buildings close together, we can easily defend them. But we do have to spread out a little bit. Come on, Come along. What's up, 50 Cal Jake? Hello. Alright, well, we're getting that logging camp done first. And then I want my hitching post next. Alright, so logging camp, hitching post. Then we'll buy another. We'll have two oxen ready to go. Then we'll start building those houses. Once human? Uh, yeah, videos are on the channel. Locked in. All right. And then... Of course, we want to build the granary so that way the rains down in Africa don't mess with us. Oh, you can go to third person watch the building, yeah. Nothing really gets built, though, until... Uh, until all the materials are delivered. I guess the people will come over and, like... Uh, can I stay with the they will g get some shovels and clear the land and level it out a little bit. This is what's nice. When you need something built fast, to have everybody on a sign from doing anything else to just get a construction project done is nice. Cool. I think another log is needed. Fritz? Where are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Maddie. 
Bum, 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 bum. Oh, they're building it. So we got a year for the first raid, so we got to get um, a bunch of uh, people ready to go. Five houses, then we get the weapons. Demo version? Nope, this is the early access, early content view, whatnot. It's like a version for content creators, and then the early access will be released for everybody on the upper right corner. Would I recommend this game? I would recommend you... Know that if you get this game and don't really like it, you can always return it after two hours on Steam. Also, it'll be on GOG, or as they like to be called, GOG. Or the Epic Game Store, where you could use code Rap Raptoria. Or... You can also um, get it on the uh, Game Pass, too. So if you already got Game Pass, this will be uh, dropping in five days. Which is next weekend, next Friday. So you'll be locked in. The game mode is called On the Edge. So this game mode is like we're going to be building a city just like normal, except there's going to be increased raider activity. We're going to be attacked increasing, increasingly over time, I think. I hope that the enemy numbers increase and that there's not like a point where it's just too easy. Like, I think at the very beginning, the enemy will attack with 18 people. And then I think the enemy will attack with, um, maybe... Up, maybe they'll increase, but maybe up to a maximum of, like, um... 100 people or something like that. Like, 100 raiders. So, we'll see. Not sure exactly how this one works, but... We will be more frequently attacked. So this is more of a defense mode, where we gotta build a village and defend it. Under constant attack. Which is kind of cool. I liked when we would get attacked in the other game modes. I was like, ooh, cool, the raiders are here. Because we needed that influence to take other counties. And we do the same here, but we need, uh, you know, we need to beat those raiders. Also, do they have any tents up? I don't see any raider camps. Really could have used... Um, I really would have loved to have had a rich wild animal deposit, which we do, and also maybe iron. Or berries so we could export... Uh, other stuff, but that's enough. That's enough to start. And we have stone up there, cool. Alright, where's the ox? Okay, he's pulling in now. Watching the delivery. Come on, laddie. Come on. Man, they're going pretty fast. Yeah, the version that'll be released in a few days will be even better. Since this has been out for two weeks, there's no doubt that in that two weeks the developer hasn't just been sitting on his hands. He's been taking notes, watching people play. Finding bugs, fixing the major ones. But I think the most important thing would be to fix crashes first, which I haven't had this thing crash at all. I've not really had any performance issues. I've had some fun animation things happen, and some things that aren't quite right, but I don't. It's made me laugh, so <laughs> it's been more funny than anything. Like carts driving in reverse and stuff like that, and you're like tee hee, but it only happens like once every every 500 times I see a cart go by. It's all good. No, it should absolutely be placed over there. Bum, bum, bum. All right, the uh, logging camp is going up. So let's start logging this area here. And we'll need firewood next, but really I think the most important thing is getting that granary going. And let's get full, cut down a bunch of trees here. They should make that hitching post next. Cool. Yeah, new gameplay. This, this, this is, I, I feel like this is the most difficult version of the game. Like this, this one is where they're always coming at you. 
to attack you, in addition to all the other things you've got to do. I think this one will be the most challenging. Prosperity mode, just build a city for fun, has its own challenges. you got to survive winter, keep your homes warm, you know, feed people. The, the, the basics, but, you know, that can be challenging. And then uh, the main mode, the uh, restoring the peace build, where you got to kick out the other Baron. Like, you got to fight him, but also bandits at the same time. But the bandits at a certain point are kind of... They're actually a good thing, because then you get a ton of influence from them, and then build your military, and then be safe. Like, you build a really good military. But um, this one, I don't know. I feel like this one should be a, a constant struggle. Especially since they're going to be attacking constantly. And we'll have to continuously be, like, rebuilding the city. Or at least its population. It'll be like Farthest Frontier a bit. Yeah, the map's randomized. The uh, Where you start, uh, the resources in each region, and then, like, what kind of resources. Like, is it a rich deposit, or is it, like, small or large? Those change each time. But the um, the map is not. Just the things on it. Okay, here's some logging going. I'm going to get that other hitching post up and then I don't want to lose the oxen. And then granary. Which will be the highest. Very high, okay. I guess we could put the hunting camp high too, because it takes nothing to build. Boom, boom. Pioneers of Begonia? That'd be cool. We'll have to see who's around. Good game. I like the demo anyway. Alright, it begins. Jasa, thanks for the 40, dude. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I saw, um, what was it? M Memoriaopolis or whatever? Yeah. It kind of looks a little, what, you get like four ages that you get to go through? It's like a little bit like Victoria and Civ, it looks like. We took a look at the uh, trailer on the channel. How many territories do we have so far? You just start with one. Yep. And we're going to have to defend it for a while. So our, our main goal is going to be to try to get the population up, get everybody weapons, and then try to build a manor as quickly as possible. And it seems like the bandits will be back every two years. So every other year we'll be attacked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Horses make trading faster, that's correct. Yep, if you buy a, a trade depot and put a horse in there, it'll carry more stuff. Archer units, they could be, uh, you know, archer units are hit or miss. You know. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. All right, there comes the other log for the hitching post. So let's buy another oxen now. I just want to make sure he doesn't run away. If you buy him too early, he could run away. Don't want that happening. Boom, boom. There's some pages on the streaming schedule that should be private. No, they're fine. It's all good. 
Let's everybody know what I'm up to. And it's for other people in our uh, channel who manage like playlists and stuff to take a look. It basically just says like what I'm up to for recording and stuff. I mean, it's no surprise because like if I <laughs> if I put something on the schedule that I'm going to release for a video, then obviously I'm going to schedule it and stuff. Just to do for me and my uh, friends as well. Like Elmox and Uthris could take a look at that, so we can plan out when to talk about Japan and stuff. It's all good. It's all about transparency. Ooh, look at the trees fall quick. Wow, they really don't take a lot of time in this game to cut down a whole forest. They really don't. The countdown to release matches when I will be sick and unable to work. Weird. Oh, yeah. So you're telling me in five days, three hours, 12 minutes and 21, 20 seconds, you'll be uh, not feeling so good? That That sucks. Where's he going now? Oh, he must be going to the uh, granary, I think. Bum, 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 bum. No Tomorrow, yeah, it's all good. It's just bore boring stuff on there. Boring, boring. Now, nah, but the first tabs are important. Boom. Ready for liftoff. Yeah, your uh, archer units can be told to do friendly fire, yeah. If you're desperate enough. Okay. Yeah, Astroneer is great. I like that game. Is this better than Farthest Frontier? That's different than Farthest Frontier. A lot of the skills that I've developed by playing that game for like 500 hours certainly have come uh, in handy here. You think a bear will attack Tokyo when I get there? Yeah. I, yeah. W and you know, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if there was some sort of news story that when I, when I get to Japan, there's like a bear escape at a zoo or some, something crazy happens. Like a truck transporting bears tips over. Mm hmm. Hello from work. Hello. All right, what are we up to next? We need to get that bread in storage, so the granary's up next. Hunting camp looks good. I guess we can get somebody on meat. And we'll do berries next. Uh, the difference between the normal mode and this one is that we'll be attacked a lot more frequently. This, this is more of an invasion defense mode. And I think we could turn up the difficulty even more if we wanted to. What's the main differences between Farthest Frontier and this one for combat? Uh, this one does allow, I think, for more... It's a little more smooth to let your troops move across the uh, open land and stuff. It works a little more like Total War, as where Farthest Frontier works a little bit more like the Sierra games, like Emperor and stuff like that. Oh, cool. Yeah, we got it. 
Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, hitch and post is done. Another one? Oh, they had to build it. Oh. Oh. Best suggestion for a game to play before this one comes out? Well, anything, I guess. I mean, but um, the closest thing is like Farthest Frontier and Foundation. With a sprinkling of Anno. Maybe. Or Lasara Summit Kingdom. Well, lots of games to play. Yeah, I don't think food spoils in this game unless it's left out in the um, environment. Maybe in the future there'll be more of a system that restricts how long food can last. Like, for example, maybe there'll be a meat smoker in the future to let meat last longer. Something like that. All right, now we got 16 timber cut down. Nice work. Now we can start building some more stuff. Let's do it. If I have to spend another winter in Albrecht's barn, I'd like to freeze me balls off. Put that next to the berries. Okay, so the granary, the hunter, the forger. Now we want a big old burgage plot. Burgage. Make some food. Or. Oh, we could do it up this way. Summer's coming soon, and soon the beating sun. Hmm. We could do a lower city down here, I suppose. Mm hmm. If you're not connected building to the street, is it not working? Uh, some buildings are like that. Some you don't have to connect, but. Uh, most buildings require a cart to come pick up stuff, and if you don't connect it, there'll be like a little section where the cart will have to go real slow. But I think all buildings I've always connected in the game. Hell, even there's like a, shr like a little shrine or a statue you can connect. All right, let's try to build a hues here. Are you going to be able to grow crops like potatoes, oranges, pineapples, and sonnets? Yeah, yeah, just a couple, you know, a couple hundred years we'll be able to get those locked in. Big old vegetable farms there. Love how it doesn't destroy the tree. It might when I upgrade one of them to a um, 
vegetable farm, though, unfortunately. I gotta wait till all that stuff's cleared out of there. Alright, so we're at least gonna build four homes there. What else we got for material? 19. Yo, Russell, thank you very much for 19 months. Can't wait for this to be released. I know, I know. I, I'm excited for everybody else to be able to play too. Because, <laughs> honestly, I'll be able to take a little bit of a break. I think I've, at this point I've kind of almost done everything there is to do so far in the game. And, uh... I'll pull back a little bit, but not stop completely. But I do want to play some other stuff. I think it'll make me more creative in this game to actually stop playing for a little bit and then come back with fresh ideas. No biggie. Come on, buddy. Come on. That's actually pretty good there. There. A couple of nice tier ones. Then tier 2 and 3, of course, on the hill. And things not too far away from each other. One thing we could do, too, is, uh, of course, we can kind of make almost like little walls around our city where we, like, build trees. This is something I like to do in uh, Foundation as well, where we, you know, I could tell the forester to plant a bunch of trees here to kind of make, like, a little, almost like a glade or a grove for the, um, just for the farms and then have everything else surrounded by trees. It's just visually pleasing. Everyday Manor Lord, yeah. Well, I am going to have to stop sometime. You know, I'm going to Japan. Like chat confirmed. So we're all good. Good thing we don't have a lot of buildings made. Lightning could cause some fires. Come on, laddie. Come on. All right, so now we got two oxen bringing logs down to the Burgage plots. Wow, the logging camp is clear in house, dude. Twenty-three timber remaining. Granary's got to be next. Okay, let's get people unassigned. So they can assist in building. Especially that granary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Parts of Japan you visiting? Uh, it'll be mostly like central Japan. My friends haven't gone in f like four or five years. Same with me. I went in 2018, 2019. And honestly, I probably would have went every year. Um, you know, with COVID and all that. But now, now that's all. You know, we're all good now. Yeah, yeah. Ichiban, yeah. Happy Sunday. Yep, indeed, indeed. Did they ever fix that bug? Uh, I, honestly, I don't know. I'm, I haven't been experiencing it, but I'm sure there's a big bug list, and I don't know what will be fixed on release. There is also the possibility that when I, when this game version updates to release, it might not work. So we will see. So we'll see. We might have to start fresh again in the future. 
I don't know what'll happen. French Toast Factory. That sounds familiar. I may have been there. Maybe. Yo, Lord Dragon. This dude just dropped a gift bomb. Thank you very much. Wow, thank you very much for the gift bomb for chat. All right. You're going to play the heck out of this game starting Friday? Yep. A lot of you guys are going to have to have, like, food pre-made, like meal prep. Like, maybe have just a slow conveyor coming, you know, build a conveyor belt that comes in front of your, your face and just have it slowly bring food, you know. Because you don't want to be leaving that chair. What's up, Alucard? Visited Japan a couple times when I'm on my, on my first submarine in the Pacific. Yeah. Japan's very pretty. There's a lot more I got to go with that seasonal in Japan. Like, it's not necessarily the... There's a lot of, of course, year-round beautiful cultural things you can see, like temples and things. But I, I got to see some of those seasonal changes, like Sakura and fall. Like, I got to go early spring and, like, late fall. I think the latest I went there was in... Um, Maybe in November? No, I think the first time I went, it was, um... I think I went October the first time in 2018, and then maybe late September the second time, maybe. I gotta go in November. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, the rain is so pretty. Happens all the time, though. Wow, all these follows. Thank you guys for hitting that follow button. Exclamation point uh, Twitch, by the way, in the YouTube chat. We're almost up to 21,500 followers over there. So, wherever you prefer to watch. By the way, Twitch chat is always to the... Um, stream will be on YouTube immediately after the stream is over. If you miss anything, if you walk away or want to check back later or something like that. Whatever the case may be. Uh, just check YouTube. Full streams are uploaded. As well as some videos, too. I did a little recap video the other day of the cities that we were building in the previous map. And uh, I literally just walked around for 30 minutes and kind of talked about the city and why I'm excited for the game and stuff. And it was, it was, it was just nice. It was a nice video to make. It would be really cool, you know, if City Skylines or something had a mod where you could drive a, a car around really realistically around your city. But it's all good. All right, and we're going to have to get planks going, aren't we? Because that's the next thing we need is the church. So, the saw pit. Man, I, n I never saw that coming. Living alone, it doesn't make sense to cook for one person. So if you cook eight uh, to four days in a row, you'll have cook, uh, cooked food for a month. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So many things make so many portions. GTA The King's Wagon. Oh, there we go. That's the um, the forger. Okay. Should get four people. I want to get four people immediately assigned to working on grabbing that bread. Which should be nearby. Right there. We got to get that into the storage. And then we'll have our houses built. Well, this is three plots, but then we'll be upgrading with an extra home each, so that'd be uh, two, four, six homes. So, enough to help house everybody in a little room to grow, which is good. And then let's see if the church fits perfectly. Mm, 
we could build it that way. We could build it that way. Or that way. Mm. I will decide later. Boom, 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 boom. All right, how'd the bread go? Everybody's grabbing that bread. People, you have two hands. Yeah, this is how slow they move without a road. But I'm not going to build a road to, like, the camp that's about to be gone. Oh. Granary comes with a cart. She should be able to put all of those in there. Ma'am. Okay, she did. Cool. Wait, yep, we're good. Interestingly enough, the tools don't show here. It shows that we have firewood, which is there. Uh, the stone, which is there. But then there's no tools. I'm really excited to see how tools are going to work in this game. Because it's not... It's under construction. Under the construction tab. So I'm pretty sure that when we get more advanced structures like a castle. Castle is probably going to take blocks. Because right now we can just mine stone, like cobblestone. But I'm pretty sure when the manor can be upgraded to like a castle. That's where we're probably going to need heavy tools and stuff. Yeah, I know. A smart villager, I know. Lady went to school. Come on, laddie. Come on. She knows what's up. Okay, so since most food is in storage now, I'm going to wait until she literally delivers stuff before I unassign. Ma'am, this is a Wendy's. Bro, she's opened in the first Wendy's. What? I mean, Wendy's is technically like a granary, right? A place you go to get food. And it's fresh, never frozen. Yeah, this will be brutal eventually. We're going to get some invasions. It'll it, It's going to be the most... Um, I think this will be the most military-involved um, part of the game because we're going to be invaded quite frequently. Like, in the other game mode, we kind of get to choose when we go to the other... Like, you know, we, we get to stake a claim, and then we say, you know, claim with influence, and then the enemy will fight us. Like, we kind of get to choose when we expand. But here, I think the same thing will happen, but the bandits are going to also be invading us when they want to. So like every other year. So a year of war and a year to recover. I think every year would kind of be a little excessive, maybe. I you know you'll know be nice is if there was a way to randomize it. Like in a in a span of five years, be able to pick how many times they would attack within the five years. Like four out of the five years they'd attack, so two years in a row they attack, then one off. It kinda of be a little bit more of a guessing game that way. Because, like, every year seems too much. Every other year kind of seems like, eh, I kind of wish it was, like, two years in a row. And then not. Mm-hmm. Big sword vibes, for sure. Uh, Raptor, you can bypass the 300 weeks on Frostpunk 2 with the cheat engine. Now... Yeah. I don't know if I want to do that. I feel like the developers... I shouldn't have to do any sort of modification or manipulation. I think it should just be... For beta like that for Frostpunk, they should have just made it... 
Like that you could just play one map or something like that endlessly. I know it's their baby and they're trying to keep secrets. And I do trust 11-bit to make a really good story-based game like that. Because Frostpunk and most of the 11-bit games are very well done with their presentation of a story. I mean, I loved The Invincible. Um, we have This War of Mine on the channel. Frostpunk, of course, is incredible. Frostpunk 2 looks good with the whole... You know, having to deal with people who are, like, uh, whining all the time. Like, there's a lot of political groups and stuff in that game. And it'll be really interesting to see how that goes. I'm really excited mostly for the story. We'll have to wait till what, J July? Are you saying you can purchase it on Steam and refund it within two hours if you don't enjoy it and still get full refund? Yeah, that's always a Steam policy. Yeah, if you buy a game and you don't like it or a DLC and you don't like it, you can return it for two hours. Like, no question asked. But, also, Game Pass is a good option to try before you buy for a lot of games, too. Like, if, you, if you're on the fence about Manor Lords, and you're like, eh, maybe, and you have Game Pass, and you get it, and you're like, oh my god, then you can rush right to Steam and, <laughs> and buy it, too. But if you, you know, after, you know, a couple days on Game Pass, if you're like, eh, it was okay, but, you know, maybe I'll buy it later, like when it's more developed or something, then you come back later. It's all good. It's your choice. Do they have bigger maps? Not at the moment. I think they will add more big maps in the future. Especially when Cavalry is implemented. I'm curious to see, though, like if there's going to be bigger maps, it could, it could take a very long time to do trade. Because the only thing I could see happening with bigger maps is that there's going to be more isolated regions in the middle. Which means that you're going to have to go to you know, neutral territory. You might have to go through several territories just to make a trade, which could take forever to get money. Uh, kind of the only way to make cash is, uh, I mean, you can make cash by upgrading houses to tier 2, but to really make money, you gotta start trading. That's where the, uh, that's where the big money is. I want to see a waterfall in this game. A fresh start for me and me own. Summer's coming soon, and soon the creeping sun. Debating whether or not we'll keep those trees there. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, there go there's going to have to be a lot of uh, changes to the economy of this game, for sure. But, you know, that's the good thing now that so many people are, will be able to play Manor Lords is that people will see the bottlenecks and exploits and things maybe the developer, despite their best efforts, just didn't see. <laughs> oh, Red's really into RimWorld? I wonder if uh, Red will play the other game being published from uh, Hooded Horse, which looks like... It, it looks like Manor Lords meets Rimworld, basically. Which is, um... N is it Norland? Nor Norland. N-O-R-L-A-N-D, I think. Is it true that it's too easy to make money? Uh, yeah, I find it very... It, it, you make no money for a long time, and it's kind of slow, and then t suddenly you make too much money, yeah. I feel that'll be something needing to be tweaked. But, of course... The version of the game right now that I'm playing, this could already be resolved. The developer is working on like a day one version for early access. This this is just a content creator build. The day one for creators, uh, or sorry, for everybody version is probably being updated all the time. It's, but by the time you guys get to play this, another five days will pass. And this guy, Greg, is not going to be sitting around not doing anything. I mean, there, you know, there's patch notes, or rather probably like updates and things. He, he's probably got a whole list of things that he wants to change first crashes wise and performance and then start working on the money and stuff. Okay, so now we're finally building the houses in May. That's good. We still got to build the... Storehouse and saw pit. Yep, I think he's going through all the feedback, yep. 
but also probably had a lot of things that he knew that he would change anyway, even despite the creator version. I think we should get another ox. But then I won't be able to get a burgage plot for vegetables for the next year. Damn, I'm conflicted. Um, this is a single dev project, but there are kind of like teams working on this game for certain things. Like there's an animation, you know, th there's anima there's motion capture for how the people walk and stuff. There's an orchestra, there's music and stuff. So Greg is in control of everything goes through him. Either he makes it himself or he gives final approval on certain things, you know. Even the marketing stuff like Manor Lords exclamation point Instagram, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Uh, Manor Lord sent out me and a bunch of content creators some badass helmets and stuff. Really cool stuff. And, um... I'm pretty sure Greg had the final say in that. Like, they, they... Hooded Horse probably just didn't come up with a marketing thing and then just not run it by him. Like, they were like, you know, hey, we gotta do marketing on this game. What should we do? And he's like, I don't know. I'm working on my game. It's like, okay, we'll, uh, we'll come back to you with something. Hey, what about a bunch of helmets? Dude, that's cool. Here's what they look like. Oh, nice. Thumbs up. Go. You know. Are there still three workers in the granary? Uh, yep. You're right. Get that done now. Good call. Although, I think the biggest slowdown now is getting wood delivered to the houses, which is done. Almost done. Although, should we do food? I think we should do firewood now. Or food. Here, let's just do one person food. I'll just get somebody hunting for a while. We'll pick up the uh, other stuff later. And then I gotta get somebody working at the storehouse. So let's get that up to high priority. Then we can have them store firewood, stone, and hides. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chick fil A sauce. Oh, yeah. You think it's a good idea to build a. A body, uh, cor a corpse pit ahead of time. Yeah, we'll do a good old-fashioned corpse pit, probably down by the river. That probably won't hurt nothing. Actually, I think the last time we played, I think I built a corpse pit, like, over here. I wonder if we could put a gift shop next to the corpse pit. That'd be kind of nice. Like, come on down to the old corpse pit and swing by the gift shop. Be like, I went down to the old corpse pit and all I get was this lousy t-shirt. Corpse Fit sounds like a great uh, band name. It really does. Bum, bum. Oh. Oh. Ah, more peaceful rain, more oxen, more construction. What's everybody up to? Okay, we got the hunting guy hunting. Show us the helmet. Um, yeah, I can go get it. Also, exclamation point Instagram. I have some pictures of it. But yeah, I'll, I can go grab it and show it live in a little bit. Are we going to go full Sim City or are we going to make a natural like... Oh, I think we're going to do a little both. I, I am going to do some gridiron here because through my experimentation, although I do want to make it organic... In my opinion, in my experience, it seems like if I'm going to try to make the big houses, like the tier threes, it's cool to build all the big stuff around the church. It really looks nice. And then um, if I build the, their lots on kind of like a curve, sometimes the house can like stick out into the street. And that looks a little weird. So in order to try to combat that, I, I try to make like a, you know, like a plot like this where it's nice and square. You know? And or try to do uh, something where I can make a burgage plot for it. But we can adjust it. This is all just placeholders for now. But I do want some houses to just be houses. I want some to be like tier 3 burgage. Or 2. And then some to just be like tier 2 no. Like no no burgage. I try to get a mix of everything. Because if everything looks... Um, you know, even if you try to make everything look different, if it's, if it's also the same, like, tier and consistency, then it looks a little too matchy-matchy. 
But I think you could, yeah, you could definitely go full grid. Yeah, if you want to do it, like, clear out. You, a lot of people ask, like, what's the maximum population? Like, what's the biggest army? Honestly, I think that's restricted by how you build your cities. Because, like, you know, it's based on your populations. So, you know, what you could do is pretty much cut down all the trees in this area. Build a gridiron housing thing as small as you can. And, uh, yeah. You'll have a huge population, so long as you can feed them. Yeah, Tier 3 Burger King. We're building a Tier 3 Burger King. Have it your way. Okay, so now I want to get that. Bro, what are you doing? This is marked as highest priority, sir. How many uh, logs do we have? 21 still. Good. They just need to be delivered. Armies are li limited to 7 units. Oh. Tier 3 Dairy Queen. Along to the attack, lower left corner, raiders near 294 days. So basically the spring of next year. So I'm going to go slow and try to make every second count. And try to like lay out the city as effectively as we can. Oh, that's good. And what about here? Also good. This pleases me. I'll uh, build a little road there. See if that fits the church. And uh, nope, gotta go a little, little higher. I'll figure it out later. Church will be one of the next things we build because we've got to get those uh, happiness numbers up. Yeah, everything feels very alive in this game, yeah. I still do wish there would be random animals walking around in the uh, in the field, or like in the grass, but it's okay. There's still birds and stuff, which is pretty impressive. Birds will fly around. Let me see. We gotta name our... We gotta keep to tradition, Chad. I'm gonna name this region. Hey, where are the pegs? Let's try check again. That worked out. Okay, I'm still deciding. What happens if people want to move into a region there's no free houses? I think they stop moving in. I don't think people keep moving in unless there's housing space. Dang, hey, the sop pit's done. Okay, we'll do a speed run on planks. We need more work. Fire it up. All right, standing by. No 
hobble. Tomorrow, find a new home. Now. Hmm. I got a name. Oh, wait. That's a reference. Now it's starting to look like Anno 1800. <laughs> like we got the market in the middle and then all the gridiron going out from the middle. Name it Eastern, Upper, Lower, Western Shire. Wow. You guys are confusing. No apple cider? No. Sad. Well, we can grow apples, though. So I hope there's more products for more food in the future. Like, I was thinking it would be cool if we could somehow make pie and sell that. It would just be like, you know, bakery. Bear County. Hmm. No. No. Okay, so we should be making planks now. And that should be delivered there. Nope. Oh, they're bringing it to storage first, then, then there. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so they're storing all the logs. Cool. And they're actually building the houses now. Nice. Food coming in. We'll have to worry about heat a little bit later. <laughs> West chatting, chatting ham. So we're gonna clear all this out to build our manor, so that like we're technically, I guess we're already building our defenses because we're gonna clear out the high ground and then build the uh, you know the Anakin Skywalker memorial. Manor, Lord House, and Gift Shop. Powered by Disney. Sponsored by Subway. Something like that. You see the outline of a great city in the making? Yeah. And honestly, I think, really, by playing this game a few times and restarting, it's made me lay out cities better. Which I think is very important for, you know, like... Any city builder that you play is kind of... You look at the land and can kind of see what you can do in the future with it. Sometimes in, like, Anno, I'll get a little panicked and be like, oh, I don't want to I don't want to delete any of these beautiful trees. And then you have to. It's like, dude, is that a one-by-one one square on your island that you didn't fulfill with something? Uh, yeah. Oh, dude, you've, you've lost the game. It'd be funny if the raiders dug a tunnel to go under the manor wall. That would be interesting. That would be a siege tactic for sure. To have someone dig a tunnel. True. We all know what that means. Yeah, I've been there, Joseph. In Ostrava. I was I was in a few uh, kebab shops and bars in that place, having some radagast. Radgast is good. I like it. It's very good. On, Greetings from Italy. Hello, welcome. You want me to build Coruscant? Yeah, just give me a couple thousand years.
All right. Man, this game's looking good. Can't wait for, to try it out. Yeah, only five days, two hours, 27 minutes, and 29 seconds remain, brother. Oh, good question. If you assign loggers to cut down trees on a border, will they cut down the neighbor's trees? I don't think so. I don't think... Like, you can't even get a hunter to go across the border. Like, if there was a... Like, if there was a bunch of animals here, I don't think we could tell them to go across the uh, the border. Unless we own it. Which, I don't even know if that would work. If you if you own two territories... Hmm. I didn't even try that. Like, if I... If I control this territory, too... Build a hunter here and then tell them to hunt over in this new land? I don't... I don't think they'll cross borders. They have to report to their building... They'll only... I, I think they'll only... Hunt... Well, I think they'll only work at jobs where they live, and I think they'll only hunt where, if they live and their job is in that territory. That's, that's a damn good question. I'll have to test that out. I, I don't know, but I think the answer is probably no. Uh, multiplayer? No, I, I don't think so. If, if this game mul gets multiplayer, it'll probably be after 1.0 release, and that could be years from now. But there's a long way to, to go before that. Okay, let's immediately upgrade the house to hold more people. I said, look. Yeah. And let's go with carrots, too. We'll do that next. Yeah, I think it's locked to each region, yeah. Man, we got the convoys rolling out. They got two more logs there to put into storage. And are we making planks? We did. Made five. All right. I'll just put one person on that. Where's our uh, logging camp? Here it is. Put one person on the saw pit. Another person cutting down trees. Good person in the storehouse so they can store firewood and stone. Get that clear. And then get that homeless tent out of there. And then let's move the hitching post. Come along, lad. How many hours did I manage to rack up so far? Uh, we're, we're talking like maybe... I gotta be over 300 hours now. Let's take a gander. Uh... And I also played the demo for like, uh, I don't know, probably like, oh, okay, I'm 101 hours into the game. I've got over 100 hours in this game now. Holy crap. Another sunny day. Yeah, my tip for release is stock up the fridge and tell your family you love them.
Indeed, this is in-game music. I'm trying to unassign somebody from food again. Because we can hunt in the winter. We got plenty of food. Enough food for five months so we can chill for a little bit. We don't have too many people to feed. Oh, look at all those logs, dude. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Uh, we built down here because there was a lot more open land. And these houses are not necessarily homes, but they're also like mini farms. So the idea here is, though people will live here and this will be their house, they also will be farming from here. So a larger open area to build a larger plot is a little more... Um, easier to do. Also, this land wasn't uh, clear before. We, we've been cutting this down over time. So th this area was all filled with trees. Our goal is to cut all this down and I'm going to build like a, a fort here so we can defend ourselves. So gave the old ox a hand on the month old grass. He spat it in my face and tried to carve me a new nipple. I don't know why we have two things as supplies. Like that are just logs, weird. Ooh. Carts are coming out. They're gonna go pick up those stones. Well, this house needs two logs for the upgrade. So that'll be two homes right there. We're building a second home onto this property, too, so we can actually expand the properties that way. If you give them enough land. I love that part, too, where you can, like, kind of pack more people into an area. It really is a, a very effective way of raising density without making it based on the building. It's a very gentle slope, this place. Actually, it kind of seems like there's flat land here, but then it keeps going up and up and up. And that's off the map. We see like a lake or something? Now that looks like open fields. Yeah, thanks for all the follows, guys. Welcome to all the new subscribers and stuff. Hope you've all been enjoying the... Uh, all the Manor Lord stuff going on. Taking a look at the... One of the new game modes, as in, like, we haven't taken a look at it before. One of the more difficult ones will be under constant attack. And one that we've started a new game for. Of course, the map is always the same, but... Now we've started a new city and a new region, which is beautiful. Come along, Are we playing on Nightmare difficulty? Just normal. But the game mode itself is more challenging. We'll see how it goes. Fresh start for me and me only. But we'll go back to that other map in a few days. I want to try this defense mode and see if we can hold the line. Do 
You think this game has a linear progression flow? Or is it like Frostpunk that it gets progressively harder till chaos? No. I think this game gets easier the more you build because more people to do more work lets more things happen that benefit the city. More food, more fuel, more defenses, more army, uh, more trade, more money. More is good. That's why at the start of like Farthest Frontier it's super dangerous to like... I don't remember how many people you start with in that game. Let's say 10. But like if somebody gets or two people get killed by a bear or a wolf, uh, you may as well restart because it's so... Everything in that game is all about population. Yeah, cascading failure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to see more for disease, too. It'll be interesting to see how or what types of things we'll need to do to prevent that. Yeah, there's fighting in this game, yep. Yep, yep. Our more logs coming in. More logs going out. Two people free for construction. Good. Means two houses should be getting constructed right now. They were building the, the hitching post instead. Good. And we just needed 20 planks for the church. I think we can shut that down now. Nice. Okay. I think we'll build it that way. I've never really built it that way, I think. Have I? Which way does it look like when it's facing down? Ah, okay. Well, then maybe I should build it that way. Yeah, that'll look nice. Church is important. We need that approval ASAP to grow population. Very important. Ah. Really love to just be here in your stream. You play all the games I enjoy while being very neutral and calm. Definitely helps to relax. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, thanks for being a part of all the all the streams. Certainly been enjoying playing all sorts of uh all sorts of different games. More city builders, but uh we will be building again later today. I <laughs> I promised my friends that I'd play the construction simulator DLC with them for weeks now and I don't wanna keep putting it off and not keep my promise, so we'll be playing that a little bit later today too. Very fun co op uh, building game. Well, lots of building games, either e either by doing it via modern equipment in the simulator or, you know, a, a medieval survival game like this. We do everything here. Well, I guess I could lay out the plots and then put them on pause, I suppose. Nah, maybe not. Oh my god. Yeah, last night, the second hand tonight. <laughs> god. I could I could hear the screeching coming through his mic, and it, I, it was giving me second hand tinnitus. Just so everybody knows, we played a game called Gray Zone Warfare last night, and it's you know like a an army game where you go out with friends in a squad and shoot other enemies and stuff like that. It's it's a looting game. You go into a town and clear it out of bad guys, and then collect stuff and bring it home. And we we're on this mission to do exactly that. Go into a place, shoot a bunch of guys, find stuff, and bring it back. And uh, I don't know how, but somebody got wounded or shot at or something. Basically, they, they lost their hearing, and it makes like a, a loud beeping noise. <laughs> a loud beeping noise in their headset, basically, like tinnitus. You know, that 
Like in the movies when you hear that buzzing sound or something after a grenade goes off. And I think that maybe that's what happened. Someone got a grenade thrown at them. I don't know. But anyway, our friend Dirty... A grenade landed next to him or something. I'm scared. Yeah, like that. And, um... <laughs> as he was talking through his mic to us, like... I could hear his character in his <laughs> game. I could hear the buzzing sound. Because he had his volume so loud through his headphones that I could hear it. And it was giving me, like, second... <laughs> Secondhand tinnitus. Because I, I was also hearing it. Oh, it was awesome. I don't think I've laughed that hard in a little while. Except for the time making fun of Alex about his neighbor's computer. If anybody remembers that reference from like four years ago. Valheim. It was a good time. It was a good time. I I I could I couldn't see. I couldn't see. I was laughing so hard I like had to take cover behind a wall just to laugh. <laughs> just be hidden. <laughs> I hope one of you guys made a short about that. Definitely build the houses first. Oh, this one's done. We'll need to lift this beam to the roof. Bom, 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 bom. Well, Mecha Kosha, I'm trying to promote my channel too on Twitch. So, uh, yeah, we're trying we're trying to grow here primarily. It's been a while since we streamed. In fact, chat, we're about 25 uh, followers on Twitch away from 21,500. So, exclamation point, Twitch! Make sure you follow over on Twitch, guys. We're gonna be streaming on Twitch a lot more too. If, if you have Twitch, you can you can follow there. Spend your Twitch Prime sub. Get all the emotes and stuff, badges and whatnot over there too. Good times. Good times, everybody. And uh, enjoy. I'll be expanding on the Twitch stuff a little bit more. I'm kind of, you know, we, we've been streaming on Twitch quite a, a lot this year, but it's been like eight years since I did it. So it's good times. If you build your uh, trading post along the outside border, will the trade be faster? Oh. um, Well... People will send stuff to uh, the trade depot. Like, first your people have to go to a thing to pick up stuff to bring it to the trade depot. Then they bring it from the trade depot to the border. So, really, it's like... I mean, right now, it's... Not, yeah, our trade's not even that far. I could probably just build a road, like, here. And it'd be pretty close. We'll have to experiment with that. I've always just tried to build more and more trade and cool stuff. What does our whole village look like? Not much at the moment. We've just built a couple houses, but it's getting there. I got plans for the future. I've already laid out some things I plan to do here. It's going to look nice. We're already building the church, so we're going to get a lot more people in the town soon enough. And Mecha Kosh, thank you very much for the tier one sub on Twitch. Appreciate that. Thank you. And welcome to all the new follows. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the support. Enjoy. And welcome to all you new members. Thanks for all the gift bombs. Thanks for an am another amazing week. This is the last weekend, folks. This is the final weekend for Manor Lords until it launches. Five days, two hours, eight minutes, 27 seconds. Good stuff. Good stuff.
Uh, oh, unemployment causes public order to drop. I didn't realize that. I wouldn't say anybody's unemployed in this town. If you don't have a job, come on down to the old construction site. Or grab an ox. Any combat? Oh, yeah. There'll be combat. In fact, we're 250 days away from raiders attacking us. This is down here in the lower left corner to prepare for the attack. So that's why we're going slow. I'm trying to build this town quickly, but like I'm trying to lay everything out so we can take advantage of where resources are to make it more efficient for future attacks. I think they're building the church next. I need a lot of people unemployed to carry those planks over and those uh, stones. From the storage. Yeah, we'll be building some walls around our manor pretty soon. Defensive towers, too. And Crimson Wolf, welcome aboard as a Twitch Prime sub as well. Thank you very much for becoming a Prime sub. Uh, it looks a little off there. I'm experimenting with a little larger gridiron than before to see if we can fit more tier 3 homes in the middle. It's kind of the first time we've had such a large open area. There's a few trees that we got to cut down, but ooh, look at how pretty it looks. I haven't watched it in a long time, been living in Korea. Well, welcome to the stream. Hope things are well for you. Oh, is that? That's not even. There we go. Okay, that, that might be better. Is it? Whatever. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. Gridiron's going to be weird. It actually is looking too much, but maybe it won't be. We'll see. But I really like those tier 3 buildings looking nice and uniform yet. They also have their own variety, too. Like, they're... Their own variations. Wow, another big old storm. Surprise, surprise. It looks like homelessness is the biggest thing right now, but we're upgrading a house to have another home. Oh, actually, no, we, we got houses for everybody. Two, four. Two, three, four, five. Even though this one's not built? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, Anno 1800 is beautiful. That that game is amazing. Anno is really neat. I know people might not like the grid thing as much, but um, I think that might be that game's appeal is to try to... And same with Lazara Summit Kingdom, trying to do things like that too. <sighs> Yo, Amazon Crunchy. Uh, Crunchy, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub as well. Welcome aboard. Thank you guys for all the Twitch Prime subs over there. Hope you're all enjoying the stream. Been fun. To be streaming. Alright, let's try to get that approval rating up ASAP. Let's get the church top priority. So where do we got people working? Logging camp? 
shut that down. Oh, we're gonna try to get everybody on church construction. We need uh, about 20, 30 trips by hand and five by oxen. Your favorite Anna was 1403? I think uh, we might be in the period where they might remake an Anna or something like that. I don't know where the hell Anna would go going forward. Obviously they can't make like, like despite the whole thing having to equal up to nine, I don't think they could do like the 1900s and like two <laughs> Anno 2000. Or what would it have to be? It would have to be 2000, Anno 2007. Because they all have to add up to nine. And they couldn't do anything in the 90s because they're already out on that one. Just call it Anno 9. Just nine years into Earth. Kind of wet out today there, bud. Kind of doing a little raining. Yeah, there is Anno 20. You know, I never played Anno 2070 or 2207. I, I got to play those two. Uh, I know they were good. Um, I think eight, 20, uh, 1800 is probably people's favorites from what I hear a lot of people say of, of the recent Annos. But 1404 was great for me. I love that one. Okay, more construction. They have a lot of people walking down this road. Yep, there we go. Holy crap. Whoa. Crimson Wolf just dropped 25 tier 1 subs on Twitch. Holy crap, dude. Wow, thank you so much. Whoa. Okay. Well, congratulations to everybody who just got a gifted sub over on Twitch. Exclamation point Twitch if you guys want to get a gifted sub over there too. You never know. Ooh, thank you very much. Have you renamed everyone in your town? Oh, no, no. I, actually, I don't know if the names stick if you rename it. It should in the, like it did in the demo. I tried to rename people, I think, before, and I couldn't get it to stick. Like, I'll, I'll rename them, but... I can do it in the uh, retinue. Like, when I build the manor and start recruiting troops, I can do that. But, uh... Yeah. Yeah, holy moly, yeah, thank you. Okay, we should probably start doing burgage plots, too. Uh, but I, I I'll have to do it after these two upgrade. I want to I want to start with these two first with vegetable farms. Well, fourteen oh four was a great year. Yeah. Yeah, we all remember it like it was almost thousands of years ago. <laughs> Back in my day. I was younger. Bum, bum. Wow. Hmm. So we're waiting for the church to be built. I'm trying to see if people are walking the path. Well, the oxen at least are taking logs to the housing upgrades. The band Bonnie. Hello.
<laughs> Isn't Anno, um, wasn't, wasn't it Anno's, um, fifth anniversary, like, um, last month or something like that? I can remember playing it in, like, 2019, in, like, the spring, getting, uh, like, playing the beta or something, being so excited. Anno was a lot of fun. See, we could fit four families in there, but only two professions, which might be great for our cobbler slash Fletcher. And that right there is our money. That right there is our money. Yeah, Raiders are near. They'll be here in about, well, spring of next year. Right now it's July. So we've got a few months to prepare. I think they'll be here March, maybe. So we gain two, f no, we gain a family, but lose a plot. We'll have to see. I don't know what's more important, population. Probably probably population, yeah. We'll do that later, though. Oh, we also need to figure out where to put our tavern in the future. Could put it right here by the shade. The Shady Tree Tavern. That'd be nice. I'm going to just put that there as a placeholder. Cool. <laughs> uh, there's no option to increase rating, question mark. Uh, there is in the initial um, buildings and stuff. Or, sorry, in the initial... Um, like when you're, when you're choosing your map, you can like... There's like other options for weather and stuff like that. You can increase how frequent they are. And maybe how large they are, too. Good morning, Dizzy Roll. Yeah, this is a beautiful game. That's why it's nice to like look at and you're thinking to yourself, like, how is this even a game? How do they do this? There's no way that this could be... Is this like a trailer? Are we watching the making of K Kingdom Come Deliverance 2? No. It's literally a city builder that you can play. And you build stuff. I can't believe it. This is a game where it's like... Um, this game doesn't make me say wow or whatever any anymore. It's more like a... How, how is this possible? This shouldn't be possible. Like where... Where's the microtransactions? Which button do I click to buy stuff? Where's my battle pass? Is there a way I can... Is there a skin for the horse? Wait a minute. You're telling me this guy just wants to make a really good game? And that's all he set out to do? And now it's the most... That... Most wishlist the game of the... No way. Which, by the way, chat, don't expect to see this at the Game Awards or anything. There'll be no mention of this game. The most popular game on Steam right now. <laughs> is this a new save? Indeed it is, yeah. We've started a new game mode, so thus we've had to start a new save. But don't worry, we're building in a whole new part of the map. We're in the lower right corner. I've never really built here or here. Actually, the, these um, counties here, and especially this one, I don't, I don't think I've ever built in any of these. And this, again, would be another... Right here would be another perfect um, city just like where we're building now. We would definitely put the church, like, right here-ish. And then all the town around. That's a good one for, like, an open territory. Yeah, I'm doing a grid gridiron a little bit to try to get through my experimentation. Though I want to build organically and free, uh, it seems like to build the downtown center of the city where you have the church and then a few high tier buildings around it. They seem to do best in gridiron form. 
but uh, you you can do it without that. But I'm gonna do a mix of both. I'm gonna do a little bit of everything. Yeah, I would get another oxen, but if I do, I won't have enough money for the vegetable farms. Each of these are 15. We got 30 regional wealth. I just want to make sure we got extra food coming in. Extra food. If we're bringing in berries, vegetables, and meat from hunting, that gives us three food varieties, which raises our approval. And that will get us more troops and stuff. Food variety is very important. Not, not just having a lot of food, but variety. So people want their venison, their cabbage, their beets, their carrots, and their um, and their berries, I guess. Nerd Palooza, thank you very much for the five gifted memberships over on YouTube. Thank you very much. Hardware demands are really low. Yeah, I think so. I mean, check Steam for details for the minimum and re recommended, but this game, I think, is like around 10 gigs, like maybe a couple gigs more or less, but... I mean, it, it's ridiculous. But, you know, when you work on your game for seven years, you add a feature or you add something and then you just optimize, 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 optimize. And so there's not a lot of bloat here. There's not a lot of... Uh, there's no rush in this game. It, it feels just well, well put together. There's an insane quality here. One man's vision. Ah, good question. Does the size of the backyard area for vegetables and eggs matter? Yeah. For vegetables, it does. So that's why I built all the way over here. And I don't think it... I, I'm about 90% sure it doesn't matter for, like, apple orchards. And for everything else you can build, it doesn't matter. If you make a massive area for a chicken coop and think you're going to... Like, oh, they'll build, like, maybe three or four coops. No, it's, it'll just be one. Same with the goat pens. Same with the blacksmith. No matter how much room you give them to work, um, it doesn't make them more productive or anything like that. I think the only way that that would happen is if you make a... If you build a Fletcher, for example, and you have, like, an extension lot onto that where it has the extra house, I think that matters, or if you build a Tier 3. To which you can fit... You could fit four families onto a plot with a Tier 3 house with two extensions. So then maybe you'll get, like, times four in the blacksmith. Oh boy, that's going to take a long time, dude. Bro, I put everybody on... Working on this stuff. Where are they? Okay, they're coming. But where's everybody else? I guess they're heading over to get stuff? Yeah, they do what they do, I guess. Not sure of the game's price on release. There's some speculation, but I'll leave that till later. Oh, also on the 24th of April. So what is that, Wednesday? Um, let me just check. I think on Wednesday, yeah, that's when uh, reviews are allowed to be posted too. So if you care about reviews and like in-depth um, analysis and stuff, like we're, we're not allowed to give a score or give a number or whatever. I think that's fair. That gives people... I've, I've played over... 100 hours of this game so far. It'll probably be, you know, close to 120 plus when, when the day uh, comes where it releases. So, um, it, it's fun. <laughs> Do you need market stalls so the residents can sell the goods? Yeah, they take care of that automatically. If you, um, if you make a space for the market stalls, they'll automatically set up things for food and whatnot. So citizens take care of the, um, the, the sale of goods automatically. And then when they run out, they go back to get more, and they just keep coming back. Well, the nice and the very cool thing about this game, too, is everything's done by families. So if you have a family working as a hunter, then you could have, like, the dad or the son going out hunting and then, like, you know, skinning the, ge the deer. And then maybe um, 
another family who works at the granary will come and pick it up. But also, uh, then the people who work at the hunter's tent, you know, maybe the, the son or daughters or wife or whomever will go to the stall and sell those things. So the whole family will work in a production chain to go out hunting, bring the animal back, um, you know, skin it, gut it, uh, maybe preserve it somehow. They, they do kind of, I don't know, they have like a drying rack over here or something. I think it's just for getting it all ready to go, but... But anyway, yeah, they'll they'll stack the uh, all the meat up there, and then someone will come and pick that up, and then they'll sell it. Okay, two delivered here. So immediately once this house is done, and I really I really hope that tree doesn't disappear, but I think it will. We're gonna build a. Uh, We're going to build a uh, carrot farm. What part of the country do I come from? Uh, I'm from Minnesota in the United States. Oh, good. Ready to go. All right. Vegetables it is. Oh, there went the tree. Shame. But look at all the area we have for carrots. We'll do the same with these two. It'll all be a three. Three farms. And I don't know exactly how the vegetables work yet for their harvesting. Like, I don't know. I know they grow... It looks visually like they grow beets, carrots, and cabbage. But I don't know if those are all harvested around the same time. I don't know when you harvest those. Or at least... According to the game rules, I don't know if they just do a one-time harvest in the harvest season. So, you know, games kind of change things a little bit for their own rules. More carrots are needed, yeah. Oh boy. Where's the um Okay. Well the church is getting done. They've delivered twelve out of twenty and now ten more on stone. We'll keep an eye uh, an eye on that. And they still need to uh, get rid of those. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Minnesota equals southern Canada. I'm in the south, brother. Oh, it looks like we can build here despite that having a... No, we can't. Won't let me. Ah, oh, well, it's fine. Damn, we could even build over here a little bit too, grid irony. You know, it'd be great though. Imagine I, I was thinking to myself a game where you could build and uh, build New York City from the very beginning. So it literally would be like laying out little roads, cutting down the trees in like Manhattan and other areas, and then you just go through, you know, basically colonial days all the way up to modern times. It would be that would be insane. The amount of detail and infrastructure you have to do in a game like that. And then eventually building roads, rail, metro lines. Crazy. What's up, Stefan? All right, more planks are on the way. Now July. Oh yeah, lots of planks are coming over. Here we go, people are getting in gear. Oh, 
good. Yeah, New Amsterdam, exactly. Yep, then work your way up. Uh, when it's raining, which supplies go bad? Only food or also tools and timber? Um, I don't know the order, but I, like I think you could store st like you could leave the stones outside that you start with in the game. Maybe the tools don't go bad either, but all I know is food and firewood will go bad. And I've also seen it that vegetables and whatnot stored at the houses will go bad too if they're not picked up for the burgage plots. So that's a thing. Cool, now we got a road up to the market. Bum, 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 bum. Baker, Cooper, Weaver. Many cases of professions becoming family names. Yep. Exactly. Chandler. Miller. I don't think there's a Cooper in this game, though. I don't think you can actually make a Cooper yet. People who make barrels, basically. Come a long lot. Yeah, we can do soldiers, yep. We'll get a military up as soon as we can. Why do we have everything spaced out? Oh, because eventually the town will grow, and all the space will be filled in with houses. So the way I see it right now is that there'll be a bunch of houses here that will eventually grow out. And then we're going to build a manor here. And then we're going to have like a little farming area, small houses here. And then we'll do farms down this side on the, on the hill. So we're going to have a big city. We're planning it years in, in advance. Do you want houses in your industrial areas, or are those houses off to the, uh, on their own for the vegetable farms? Yeah. Well, it, it seems like we've built, there's like the food district here next to the berries and the wild animals. And we'll do some burgage plots there. Then we're going to do the farming down here, so it just kind of works out that all the food is kind of here. Industrial areas here, for now, to cut all these trees down. Then they'll start cutting down trees here. And there's also a stone mine, but that'll... That'll be mined up pretty quick. And I'll also iron. We'll do a lot of the industrial here. So food, industrial, and then residential. Boom. Ooh, they're starting to deliver stones too. Oh, and the church is getting built. Let's go. They got the foundation down. And they're getting to work. People are locked in. They're getting a hand in. Look at that. On oh, the gate to the church right there. Beautiful. It's really cool. They've laid out where all the uh, panels for the fencing will go. They've laid down the foundation. Let's get a hand in. Let's go. Cool. How many times have you completed the game after playing 100 hours? Well... I guess none, because the uh, one game mode we're close to completing, but I'm purposely holding off for release um, to do it on release day. Another game mode is just to get a town to a large town like this. There's there's two game modes that are kind of the same. There's like, build a big town and survive, and build a big town and survive while doing it against raiders. So... But this is the type of game where once you've completed the main goal, you don't have to... You know like in City Skylines when you've unlocked everything? Like you've hit all the big milestones? Like you don't have to stop just because you've unlocked everything. Like you can keep building and go back and rebuild. What's up, Gamer Chick? Welcome back. Good to see you. Anybody want coffee? You want coffee? Hey, does anybody want coffee? Who wants coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee. Does anybody want coffee? Yes. 
There goes the church. Now more stones will be on the way. Oh, it's August now. You can tell it's a little more dry, a little more hot. Interesting. What's up, Jessica C? Happy Sunday to you, too. Whoa, 35 months is a raptor egg for Mr. Uh, Petrus fan. <laughs> nice, dude. Gift me a key, please. Oh, I can't yet. I did ask the developers to see if we could, if they were doing giveaways. I was kind of just trying to be mm, not even assertive without being pushy, but just being like, you know, hey, if you got some extra keys lying around, my viewers would love it. But, you know, no, no, it's negative 1% pressure. Like, focus on your game. So if I happen to do giveaways, it'll be for everybody who's a subscriber, everybody who's a follower, all that kind of stuff. Oh man, US squares. Yeah, so my experimentation here is from previous builds that we've done where we've built a fully organic city before that's beautiful. And through my experimentation, I found that some of the tier three and tier two buildings look the best when they're actually kind of in a square. So I'm not, even though this is kind of looking grid irony, I don't think I'm going to build this much larger than this for a grid iron. Maybe one more here, maybe one more there, whatever. I'm just trying to make it so we can build optimized spaces for the tier two and tier three burgage plots. And really, the you know, the church and other buildings are like large squares anyway. Like I, in order to maximize space, I kind of have to build a, a square around there to hug the, the edges of the church. But we'll make it look good. It'll kind of resemble a little bit of a, an American city a bit, but we're going to make it look nice. There's nothing more I want than to make things look nice. Any more tutorials coming out? Yeah, I'll be doing a military tutorial and uh, farming tutorials and stuff. I'm pulling back from Manor Lords a little bit. I do need a little bit of a break, but I will be explaining how farming works with pas like how how to get livestock, how to uh, how to, you know everything everything to do with anything to do with farming. So we'll talk about chickens, burgage plots, crop rotation. Uh, the bakeries, the development points for those things, like a uh, heavy plow, sheep breeding, orchardy. Yeah, we're going to talk about everything to do with food. Because I think that's going to be a question a lot of people have is, you know, how, okay, I'm making food now. Like, how much more do I need to make? You know, that kind of thing. But the next thing we're going to do is as soon as that church is done... Approval is going to start going up, and then we'll get more families moving in. And then I'm going to get everybody working on food and, and fuel for the winter and cut down this area here so we can build a fort. That building's fine. Good. The oxen are doing a lot of great work bringing logs in. Good. Good, good. Can we build our second farm yet? We can. Boom, locked in. Big O farm there. Yeah, I'm looking for Farthest Frontier. I'm looking forward to Farthest Frontier after... The release of this game. I think that they don't have a release date for Farthest Frontier, but it hopefully will be this summer. And then, of course, I hope they add more walls and defensive structures to that game and let us do even more. We'll see. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, sometimes we speed up time, but if I do that, I might miss something. And in this game, missing something is bad. Very bad. And it looks like we just finished that camp. Uh, we could build some tier ones here for chicken coops and stuff.
Oh, we don't have enough wood. Okay, so we're going to build uh, four more homes here. We're going to do chicken coops here, and then maybe uh, goat pens, too, to try to get clothing going. We'll need a tannery for that. And how much is the tannery? Okay, four. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race for me. I've been playing um, Farthest Frontier on the slowest setting, too. And although it looks like we're just doing a lot of waiting, which we are, um, I'll miss stuff if I don't. Like, when we play Frostpunk, I play slow. I'll miss stuff otherwise, and it seems to work out. I, I have minimal deaths, especially in, like, the, the refugee scenario. Oh, my God. So, yeah. And in a game like this, it's so beautiful. It helps you soak in the months, especially now that it's not raining. Yeah, there's a day-night cycle in the game. It's cosmetic, though. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. What's next after Manor Lords? What do you mean? Like, what am I going to play next? Oh, we need one more stone delivered and the church is done. Who's got that? Look at how dry this landscape looks like. Jeez, it's like we're on the Oregon Trail now. What exactly happens when homes are built far from the market? I think... The way I think it works is that anything built in the region is just, like, people don't mind walking. So if you build a church all the way here in the corner, and somebody lives all the way up there, if a, if a building that they need is in the region, it counts. So for the market, it's basically based on X number of stalls can take care of X number of people. So as your population grows, you just need to dedicate a few more spots for markets. So like right now, right now I got like spots for 30 marketplaces here. That should be enough for a while. But if we need to build more markets in the future, I can, you know, build some down here or something. As this area still stays rural but gets a little bigger, you know. Yeah, fishing would be great in this game. Hopefully it'll be a thing in the future. A future feature. Did the developers work with Donna Man? I don't think so. But it would be great to have a game where we could go from Donna Man up to now. Okay, they're bringing more logs for these houses down here. Good. Now, who's got the stone? I need one more stone. Who's got it? Splendid work on the roof, good sirs. That's why you need so many free people. And we're out of firewood. I'll have to set the firewood shop, too, to work. Oops. Who's got the stones? Ah, there we go. So as soon as she arrives, the church is done. Yeah, stones are heavy, no, but no one wants to carry, yeah. Uh, chickens only would happen to rabbits, pigs, cows, and geese. Um, good question. I think the cows will be a thing in the future. I think there was cheese making in the original demo. So I think that's something that's probably being worked on and rebalanced. 
would like to see uh, rabbits and pigs too, though. But I think pigs will be on a larger scale. Rabbits could be burgage, but maybe cows and pigs will be in a large separate pen like the sheep. Because sheep can't stay at people's homes. They have to go into pastures. So those would be great animals for like the uh, pastures. Does gathering firewood cause deforestation? Yeah, cutting down. The firewood cutter will go cut down a tree and bring those back and split it into firewood. And we're purposely trying to... I, I want this gone. This forest, we're going to cut down and clear it out for a manor. We're going to build our defenses here because it's got a huge line of sight around the whole valley. And we have the high ground because we got a... We had like a river down here. At least it sounds like it. It doesn't look like it. Bum, bum. Yeah, so I'll be the lord of said manor. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am lord. Luckily, the firewood cutter doesn't need the oxen to bring a, a whole log back. He, I think he basically cuts down a tree, splits it into, like, quarters, and then carries each piece back, splits it into firewood, goes and gets the remaining stuff, and then cuts down another tree, I think. It'd be kind of wasteful to make a little bit of firewood out of a whole tree and move on. Uh, well, waiting for Manor Lords, is there anything you recommend playing? Yeah, uh, all of my videos back-to-back -back on Manor Lords out now. Check the playlist in the description. Now, uh, Farthest Frontier is a great way to practice. Foundations, another game that's similar. Ostrive is another outstanding game. Everyone should check out Ostrive. O S T R I V. Uh, game was in this game that I just mentioned was in development for a very long time too. About about as long as um, Manor Lords. A dev from uh, Ukraine making a Ukrainian city builder that is in the 1700s. So it's pretty much the same in many ways, but there's more technology. That you can make carts and boats individually. You can uh, make charcoal and smelt iron and stuff and trade with other cities and build giant farms and pastures. Very cool game. Ostrov is very good. And I see a lot of inspiration from that game in this one. So I think, I think some ideas for this game came from that developer too. Not bad. It's good to see. Johnny with the 10 bomb for chat. Wow, thank you very much, dude, for 10 gifted memberships for the Chatty Chatters. Thank you very much. Look at that. We have ourselves a church, y'all. Wow. Now we got to pick a bell. Wait. Uh, rice Aroni, the San Francisco treat. Okay, that works. All right. Story checks out. Johnny, thanks again for gifting a big o, a big o ten bomb to the chatty chatters. Big O, thank you very much. Now let's get those tier ones built. And now we can get everybody employed again. So let's get everybody working on. Uh, it's probably is it too late to forge? No, we'll do. Granary, hunting camp, forger, and we got somebody in the firewood cutter, right? No. The wood cutter. And then we'll leave one person unassigned to work the oxen. What am I playing after Manor Lords? You mean today? I mean, if you're subscribed to the channel and have the notification bell turned on on YouTube, you should see it scheduled out. Some things are subject to change, though. Like Humanity Z, a top-down zombie survival game, has an update out. I wanted to maybe check that out tonight with Colt. But if not, maybe Rayzone Warfare. But if not, Lasara Summit Kingdom. But if not, I don't know. Things are subject to change, though, over the next week. I, I love Manor Lords, and I'm not tired of it. But I do want to play some other things, and... Uh, We'll be playing Manor Lords pretty much every day until release. And then probably on the 20... Maybe on the 25th we'll play it day and night. 26th on release we'll play it day and night. And then into the weekend. And then I'm pulling back. You guys get to play. You go. You do it. You you go do it. I'm retiring from Manor Lords temporarily. And going to Japan. I think the Woodcutter family will also use the oxen if they needed to move the logs. Perhaps, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I've seen that happen, but we'll see. 
Anyway, we got an attack coming in 188 days, so we'll see. Yeah, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yeah, we'll be playing that. I'll pro I'll probably play that a bit before two comes out. I I would imagine Kingdom Come Deliverance is a long game, and I would hate to rush that game. But I also feel like I need to play one before two, even if I don't finish it. And I'm a big fan of Kingdom Come Deliverance, even though I've never played it. I'm a big fan, and the reason is is because I I see in Kingdom Come Deliverance so much detail and care uh, from a Czech developer that had limited resources and money and time, but then eventually, you know, got more of those resources and continued to try to put it in the first game while making the second. And I I just, I see nothing but people praising that game, and that's cool to see. Because I think it's the same situation as Manor Lords, where people getting together, trying to make something good. Not perfect, not the best, but the best that they could make, which, you know, it's like the B-movies, you know, on TV, where it's like sometimes a cheesy movie or whatnot actually ain't that bad because they did the best they could, and they didn't need the... 50 million dollar budget to make a 10 million dollar movie you know what i mean pretty cool to see and i'm only i i remember when kingdom come came out and a lot of people were talking about it then it went quiet for a while then i heard about it then it's quiet again and now more than ever i've heard people talking about it even before the uh, announcement of two and i'm glad we made a video on it talking about it yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to the grind, yeah. We're here. We're locked in. Am I going to check out Udian Chronicles? Um, maybe. Uh-oh. Hold on. We got bandits. A bandit camp was sighted, and they're not far from us. Oh, actually, they kind of are. All right, now we're going to be uh, robbed now. That's great. So, bandits have set up camp. Great. So, now we got to crush their skulls, too. The only way we're going to be able to deal with that is probably send out like a group of 15 plus retinue. We'll see. I ain't going out there yet. We're still far too weak to deal with them. We need to we need to become strong. And if they find us now, we're going to we're going to have what you call a bad time. Brother, yeah. What is she bringing? Oh. Alright, so she's bringing some uh, meat down over to the food stall. Oh, the berry man is bringing his stuff. Oh, no, bread. We got bread from the storage. Alright, we can make a sandwich. Well, perhaps it was simply a bad batch. Uh, these things do happen from time to time. Bad batch? Yeah, smaller indie games, yeah. It's amazing what indie games can do. I mean, people still play Stardew Valley to this day and age because the developer just keeps updating it and putting more time and money into it. And not even probably not even that much money. I mean, it's a simple game, but it's packed to the brim with care. If you send peasants to fight, do you have to make weapons for them? Uh, the king should send us some weapons soon. We did have weapons on. Oh, they want more plots to your... Oh, it's not necessarily homes, but plots. Okay, so when two more of these homes get built, the king will send us 20 shields and 20 spears. Then we'll be able to defend ourselves. But it's okay. We got the most important thing down first, which was farming and expansion to farm. Okay, we just need more firewood, but we'll be on standby. Come on, laddie. Mm-hmm. You found you can get an APC in, uh, in Infection Free Zone? Really? I looked around for more vehicles and chat to... Actually, wait a minute. When I found some vehicles, it said find every vehicle in the game. So I had no idea if there was an APC in there. Well, we can go back to Infection Free Zone. We can, we can play that next week. We'll check it out. Yeah, we're sending horses to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. I'll uh, have the schedule updated by tonight, chat, and we'll put some new things on there. Manor Lords will absolutely 100% be a thing every day on this channel until release. But also, we'll add some other things like Infection Free Zone again and a couple other things. So check the schedule. Exclamation point schedule.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope there's a hill in the middle here. Eh, it seems like it's a continuous slope down, but still, it's going to be a good spot to defend. Okay, food and happiness should go up soon. I think we really need to put time into um, getting more people in the city. <clears throat> the weapons will come in soon enough, but yeah, now that the church is done, that was the hard part. I get them on hunting instead. Or maybe fuel. Tom, you picked up Tom Clancy's Division on PS5 for six bucks. Oh, and you've been enjoying it. Good. Good. Favorite part of the game so far? A lot. Like the environments are so beautiful. Like the map is just gorgeous. Colors, the seasonal transitions. It's all top tier. The music. The weather effects, too. What what is this? Crafting materials. Oh, 14 hides. Okay. We'll turn that into leather soon. Timber's a little low, but all good. Yeah, there's a goal every time you play, but it's open-ended after the goal. So yes and no. Goal now is to build a big town while being attacked by enemies. Can we do it? Yes, we can. No, I've never gotten a stream deck yet, actually. I think I would do a stream deck if I kind of was more of a casual... Like, every time I play something, I want to share it with you guys. So it's at the PC, streaming, or recording videos. But uh, if I got a stream deck, I mean, I'd play things casually. But I'd, I'd rather just play a casual game casually, but stream it, you know? Like Stardew Valley or something. Play Stardew and then just chill with you guys. You can visually see if each of them have the logs that they need. Cool. I think once all the construction sites have materials, that person will leave the uh, oxen there and then come and build. Uh, it's 10.46 a.m. for me. Yeah, the music here is great. I hope they add more. Uh, the version 
The release version of the game for everyone will change. It'll be better than this one. More bug fixes. Uh, afternoon, so I fell asleep watching the Grey Zone stream last night and got woken up by Raptor laughing hysterically about tinnitus. <laughs> what a surreal experience. Yeah. Yeah, the the tonight the second hand tonight is stun stun lock will go down in history as one of the uh one of dirty <laughs> dirty's unintentional funniest moments for sure. Allie Blue, thank you very much for the five, dude. Thanks for the stream raptor. No, dude, thank you guys for coming in all the time and hanging out. It is very nice that no matter what game we play, people are always kinda dropping by and, and hanging out. I know Manor Lords, of course, are probably the most popular on the channel. Because it's been four years of hype and building up and whatnot, and that's cool. But even if I was to go play solitaire, a lot of you guys would hang out and be like, "What the hell are you playing solitaire for?" <laughs> or whatever. Hey, what are you doing? What's up? I know people would come watch. It'd be great. Uh, this game will be PC only for a while, but it will come to Xbox eventually, probably after 1.0. But that—that's years away. It was late. You were tired. Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of streaming lately, so my later streams, I, I'm absolutely tired, but why sleep when there's games to play? And I wouldn't have gotten that memory then. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have had that funny thing happen to me. You saw the price on Instant Gaming was 22-ish. Is that fake? Uh, I mean, and I, until the 26th and until I see something listed on Steam, I can speculate about the price, but I'm not going to say anything. Additionally... This game could be, you know, day one launch, it could be 10% off for like a week or something like that too. Like it's the most wish-listed wish game on Steam, but they could also do that. I, I don't know what their plans are. So we'll see. Solitaire Detective Agency. Ah, <sighs> chant. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, we stream we stream every day all day. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> well, thank you, Ollie. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, member bombs are nice, but super chats are nice too. Or just watching the stream, just hanging out, just smashing like, just chatting in the chat is cool too. Nobody's got to do nobody. Nobody's got to do anything extra. It's all. It's all good. I think the ads are obviously more than ample. They're annoying, but it's amazing people go well beyond that, too. Will I have lunch today? I think so, yeah. I've got some leftovers I'm going to have on my in-between. After this, we'll be going and taking a look at a, another video that I... Um, <coughs> the folks at Planet Crafter reached out to me, and they want they wanted me to make a video to play on Steam of me playing their game. But I also uploaded it to YouTube so they could see it. And they made a pretty cool base, and I I was just going to upload it because Planet Crafter is another game that's made by a married... Like, two people made this game called Planet Crafter where you literally like land on a planet like Mars and terraform it. And it's got multiplayer. And it, it's still rough around the edges even though they launched 1.0. But it's so pure of heart, and they work so hard on it, and there's so many good things about it. I mean, hence the, I don't know, almost 20, 30,000 positive, overwhelmingly positive Steam reviews. That is just a game that just earns my promotion and good vibes all the time. Because it's like, I I think we can all agree that, you know, all these layoffs left and right all the time is really going to blow up in all these quadruple A developers' faces where all these people who are very talented and very smart, very good at math and creativity and coming up with new games for us, they're going to find each other. And they're going to be like, dude, let's make a game. And then they're going to be like, dude, let's make a company. 
And the very people who fire them are going to be suffering financially because they're going to make a game that's got more attention than the big boys. So more often, we need to see more Manor Lords. We need to see more Planet Crafters. We need to see more Stardew Valleys. And the big boys are, you know, they make some good... Like Elden Ring, we all like that. That's cool, you know. Baldur's Gate. Although I wouldn't say that's still... AAA, they certainly have a much higher budget than most. But I think heart and just making gamers making games for gamers is going to be the future. And there's certainly been some stinkers out recently. But in 2024, we got so many good things to look forward to. And even if they're not better than the first, like Frostpunk, for example, I still feel like studios like that trying to do things based on story and experience are more important than battle passes and, you know, get into the next season kind of thing. It's... It's not necessary to keep doing this uh, exponential uh, thing that keeps happening. It's very weird. I don't know. I I I don't think anybody here is going to be paying four hundred dollars for a game. Dude, get the ultra ultra mega super early deluxe ultra mega early access pack. Pay us in advance to start a company, and then maybe we'll make a game. Just two hundred million dollars. Order today. Wow, can't wait to get excited to give my children's children the game. <laughs> Make a good product and people will buy it. That's all you have to do. You don't even really have to market it. It'll market itself. Hence, Manor Lords. I'm not being paid to play this. I could stop right now if I wanted to. And I totally could. I'm not addicted <laughs> at all, Chad. I could, I could stop right now if I want. I just don't want to, okay? So, stop it. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, we got a gift bomb. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Debt Cord. Thank you very much for the gift bomb for the chatty chatters. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Is there no combat mode? No, there's a countdown timer in the lower left corner that says Raiders are near. They will attack us in 163 days, and there's a Raiders camp over here. These guys are going to attack us at some point, maybe. Or they'll come from somewhere else. But well, there's combat in this game. We're going to see it. We're just starting out, so it takes a little while to get there. Cough PDX. Yeah. Well, the public, uh, you know, again, publishers, I think, have been creating more problems than developers. I think a massive majority of the problems for um, City Skylines is Paradox, not Colossal Order. Paradox is the one where it's like, now, get it done now. We need it now, now. It's not ready. No, now. We need it. Our other game wasn't good. We need a game to fill in for a game that wasn't a good game. Oh, that wasn't good either? Alright, release the next game. That wasn't good either? Alright, let's keep doing that same thing. Until we're forced to do the black background, white text, we hear you thing. I mean, their latest thing was fine. We, need to dig the we heard you rabble and pours. We'll do what you want. We'll, f we'll make a good game then, I guess. You guys have started to hurt us financially, so now nice we're committed to listening to other buzzwords and corporate jumble. Blah, blah, blah. Fine. Fine. We'll go back to making games rather than for products for consumer, for consumption, to add value to the shareholder. Fine. We'll put care and creativity into the thing that made you love us in the first place again. Fine. Or in the words of uh, Yahtzee Croshaw, uh, let's all laugh at an industry that never learns anything tee hee hee. <laughs> uh, Yo Raptor Grey Zone was actually dope. Uh, by the way, you put me on. Yeah, that game needs some work and it's got some ways to go, but it, it seems fun. I, I mean, I was enjoying um, going out in the helicopter and coming back. And it's cool that it's like one persistent like open map that you don't have to like t load into areas. That's kind of nice. Did I ever get into Stellaris? Um, I may own it and may have played it, but I don't really remember it or played it on the channel. Some games I played were like a friend was like, dude, you should get this game. And then I got it and we played once and then I never came back. But maybe later in the channel, I'd love to do it again. What's the difference between horses and oxen in the game? Oxen will transport logs around and they'll also carry crops and help plow the fields if you get that upgrade. And the horses are for transporting 
uh, traded goods to and from the border. So they work in the trade depot. What's it called? Trade post? Trade post, I think it is. Trading post, yeah. That is another thing I think this game needs to do before release is for certain... There's a whole compendium, which is really nice. Like, there's all this information here, but it's very not helpful, in my opinion. Like, for example, horses. All it says about horses is storage type generic storage. What the hell does that mean? Like, when I first played the game uh, for, for, for my first time, I bought horses in this version because I was like, oh, horses are more expensive. They must be a faster oxen. So I thought, oh, the horses will transport logs around faster. No, they're only they're only for trading. Uh, the only thing you can breed is sheep at the moment, but again, that takes a perk. Was there more gift bombs going on in the Twitch chat that I missed? Probably. Maybe not. Okay, I just want to make sure I don't miss anybody. Uh, the mules are for transporting things between towns. So if you build town A and town B, it'll transport between. Uh, oh boy, that's interesting. Plate armor. Uh, yeah, you can make you can make armor. Yep, or you could buy it. All right, cool. And now we should get our weapons from the king. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Armament delivery. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived, and you'll now be able to create your first militia banners to serve and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip all people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other lands. Let's form the militia. We also need more people, I think, too. Air Wrecker, thank you very much for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. You want us to buy some tractors from John Deere? That that speed up the whole farming thing, brother. Hell yeah, amen. Well, now we got room for lots of people to move in and our approval ratings up. And we got that market variety. So now I just need to build a tannery so we can get clothing going. Hmm. Well, I guess it'll be stored up here. Yeah, you'll have to wait until the countdown timer in the upper right corner to get this one. It's approximate, like it might be off by a couple hours. Maybe it'll be available on Steam a little early, but it'll probably only be by a couple hours. Also on GOG, Epic, Game Pass. All right, we're going to have to wait. Yeah, I think modding will come later down the line, yeah. Hey, yeah, so we got 20 large shields and 20 spears. Cool. Yeah, we're doing the over-the-edge game mode today. Humble Bundle? I uh, don't know about that. I haven't heard anything about that. Okay. So it's September... Meat, berries, vegetable will be coming through. Lots of firewood, good. Yep, there's towers, yep. Yeah, guys, make sure you check the FAQ down below in the description, too. There's a lot of good questions that came in. I did get a bunch more answers, but haven't added them to the description yet, so I'll, I'll update that on all streams uh, when we have more information. Like, for example, the price. Although, I think I'll still tell everyone to refer to Steam for pricing because there could be sales, day one stuff. I... 
I don't know. It, even if I, you know, if I said this game was like 50 bucks and it turned out to be less than that because of a sale, like, I don't... I would just still tell people to check Steam or Game Pass or whatever. Just makes sense. Steam will have the more accurate info. Bum, bum. Does the woodcutter's lodge work without timber? Yeah, I think it cuts down trees and then hauls it back. Like you can watch the these guys carrying logs on their shoulders, and these guys are going to be cutting these these things into firewood, so they can work without an oxen. Because I can't assign an oxen to the to the building, but I can do it for the sawmill, for example. That has a ox I can assign. Any game you've been waiting for, would like to see a remake of, or any developer prefer over others? Well, uh, there is kind of a, not really a remake, but uh, Ghost of Tsushima is coming to PC. And I'm pretty sure that will be updated, modified, and look and feel better. But... Yeah. You're a PC guy? Yeah, me too. Uh, I played Ghost of Tsushima on PC because I absolutely had... Uh, sorry, on PlayStation because I absolutely had to. But PC, anytime there's a remake like Death Stranding or you know any, any sort of PlayStation game that comes to PC, I want to play it again. I did it with Days Gone, Death Stranding, and I want to do it again with Ghost of Tsushima too. Good stuff. Okay, we're going to need to make more planks for our fort. But we need more people in the town. Homelessness negative six. We don't have anybody homeless. We have more than enough homes. We got housing for ten. We only have five people. We got double the houses. Is Brad Labs in the next Goof Troop stream? I think it'll be me, Rick, Harry, and Alex, I think. Yeah, terrain can make a difference in battle. So can weather. Uh, if it's raining and the enemy attacks and you have archers, they might be less accurate. And uh, I think they can also shoot uh, like shorter distances. I don't know. I'll have to check. How does Man of Lords Endgame feel? Uh, there's really no end game to this game because once you've, you know, once you've completed the goals, you can keep building. It's kind of like how Anno's campaign opens up afterwards. But I guess, you know, it's like any city builder. You get bored and you build it again. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, you can hire a, mili a, a mercenary group to attack the enemy. We need money in the treasury for that, though, so we need a manor first to manage that money. Shortcut. <laughs> no wars, only a peace and love. You can do peaceful mode. There is a prosperity mode where you can build just endless settlements, for sure, with no attacks. 
And even in that uh, peaceful mode, you can still turn on bandit camps, too, where maybe you won't get raided or attacked, but there are bandit camps for you to go and attack. We'll kill them later. We'll deal with them later. Lots of good food stored up now. We got enough food for almost a year. Alright, let's switch and do something else now. A granary going. Storehouse going. What made do you prefer to play this game after trying them all? Uh, this game's got some cool stuff to it. They all, they all of course, differ, which is nice. So, yeah. Uh, how do I compare the game difficulty to other games? Uh, I mean, it it's coming natural to me. I think Farthest Frontier is much more challenging for the higher tier constant raids, but um, this game is fun and engaging. Even it, there's certain things to... I think my biggest challenge is like how I want to lay out a city now. Despite other issues going on. It's kind of cool. Yeah, you can claim other regions. You have to have influence to do it, though. We have to survive for a while and generate that. Yeah, we covered Infection-Free Zone on launch. We may play that again in the future. Yeah, we can recruit our civilians. Yep. That's called a militia. We'll get that going shortly. Why do I have to carry this alone? Uh, yeah, this game runs very smooth. Very optimized game. I think if you if you don't have the newest and latest and greatest PC in the world, this will this still run quite well. I think you'll be impressed with how even you know, despite performance, it, it will still feel better than most games, I think. Even if you load up the map. I tried to put the church on a hill. Well, the, the hill keeps going up, and then there's the edge of the map here. So I tried to put the church on the highest ground I could without being too... I mean, you know, it's it's almost like an endless hill here. So I put it in kind of a middle high area. Well, approval's good. We just need to get some houses going here. Well, we got three food types. Bread, berries, and meat. Well, the bandit stole some hides. That's fine. At least they didn't steal food. Hmm. Haven't played Kenshi yet, no. Oh, unboxing gameplay. Oh, yeah. That game was cool. That was a long time ago. I hope they make a sequel to that one. That is cool. Riff Raff, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate it. 
Welcome aboard. Good to see you over here on the Twitch channel, Brad. Locked in, ready to go. Locked in. Oh, look at, oh, it freezes the raindrops. Look at that. Wow. The rain looks so good. And the fog and stuff. Okay, I think we just play the waiting game now for a family to move in. So we'll uh, actually speed up a little bit. Put somebody to cut down trees and then we'll unassign them and have them go get oxen and pick up the logs. Oh, that's fine. We have that on pause. This is telling us uh, somebody needs to be unassigned in order to work at the tavern, but I paused the construction of the tavern and made it a low priority. We need to send you a customized mug with your logo. Uh, if anybody wants to send me anything, exclamation point P.O. Box. We do have that. And uh, you guys are welcome to send whatever. Bum, bum. Well, chat... We've now crossed 21,500 followers on Twitch. Thank you very much for the support. That's very nice. Wow. We did it. Up next, 22,000. Let's go. Okay, so we got 127 days until the attack. Winter is approaching. Now we're playing on times four speed for a little bit. We'll be jumping between one and four. In my opinion, it's better to go much slower. But I need more people in the town and everything's set up to Basically, stand by and wait for more people. Yeah, winter indeed is coming. Oh, there we go. A new family has arrived. Good. So then they'll drive the oxen around to pick up those logs. Perfect. We're locked in. Don't forget to build your manor. Yeah, we're going to clear out this area here. Got to cut down all these trees first. So we're working on it. Plus, the manor is going to take a lot of wood. So we got to gather a lot of timber and then turn a lot of that into planks, and then we need even more timber. But our first battle will take place likely without the manor. It'll have to be just on the, on the ground. What's up, son of sons? Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. 
Thank you for the support. How old am I? Well, I recently had my... Hold on. I'll have to get back to you on that. No, I'm 30... <laughs> I just had my 36th birthday in March. Bum, 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 bum. Yep, five days, 42 minutes, 20 seconds remain until the release of Manor Lords into early access. Mm. December's almost here. I got no plans to quit streaming or playing video games or showcasing the fun out of them. We got a, we got a long time together to play games and have fun. It's going to be awesome. A lot of good games to look forward to this year too. We're locked in. Till my 70s. And yeah, maybe 80s or 90s. Yeah, yeah. Why do I have to carry this alone? You've been playing Farthest Frontier and Captain of Industry? Damn good game. Uh, population is here. We have 10... No, sorry, it's here. Ten, 18 people living in the town. We have... Space for ten families, and we only have six families. Oh, this is heavier than it looks. This game's like ten gigs, yeah. Why do I have to carry this alone? All right, the attack is coming in about 90 days, right after winter. Bad times. Yeah, we're going to make a big city. Will we be playing more Railroader? Well, I'll be making my schedule updated tonight for the next week. So, uh, exclamation point schedule and check that uh, live streaming tab. And uh, we'll get it all updated. A lot of stuff's out of date because I've been locked into Manor Lords. So, we'll get that updated soon. Medieval Dynasty but top down. Yeah, a lot of the buildings and stuff really look like Medieval Dynasty. Look at that. The logging camp is getting some good amount of wood. All right, while we wait, let's build more of the town. Spend more of our precious resources. That's yeah, fine.
plot too small. Hmm. Unless... Oh, I see. Well, we could do another big vegetable farm there, but... It's good enough for now. We can start planning out those tier twos and threes. Bum, 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 bum. No, you can't do jobs for individual people. Everything's family based. Because everything took so much labor that everybody have to be working on something together. Oh, need more materials. Okay. I was just trying to clear out the logging camp so it doesn't get full. Let's go back to higher speed. Now we just got to wait until enough people come into the town to uh, fill all the already existing jobs. Wow, look at all those new subscribers. Thank you guys for subbing. This is the last weekend before the release of Manor Lords next Friday. So next Friday and all into that weekend, everybody gets to play. Hope everybody's locked in. Did I put Tier 2 and 3 church and manor yet? Uh, no. These are going to be Tier 2 houses, though. And then 3. And then we'll build the uh, manor later. i got to clear all these trees out first, though. It's going to be a good spot to put it there. And we need a lot of um, wood to be able to build that. So it's a smart idea to build your manor where there's trees anyway. Because if you cut down all those trees, you'll have a lot of resources to then build your manor. You, you basically clear out the forest, convert it all to materials to build the manor, and you're good. All right, first attack is incoming soon. Never. Perhaps he simply does not know how to cook properly. Nope. And our first winter. First winter and then our first attack are incoming. Soon. Here they come. Here we go. And we'll raise the militia. We're, we'll get to that. First winter, and then we'll start talking military chat. We're getting everything locked in. It's all going to be locked in. That'll do. We have to start making those planks too and getting excess timber. Yeah, the bandits will be here in the spring. They'll attack very soon. 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 We got housing for 10, plus we're building 9 more homes, so the big boom begins. Uh, the church works automatically. The only thing you could do with the church is assign somebody as a grave digger. 
And so they'll work on burying bodies, basically. Which is weird, because it doesn't say exactly what this church does. Like, or rather, like, if you hire somebody, what does that do? It, it doesn't really say. But they'll only uh, dig graves for people who've died in the city who are, uh, like, citizens. All the bandits and stuff just get tossed in a pit. Which we have yet to build, but that's pretty easy. I'm your first stream you ever watched? Awesome, dude. What does it mean to hit the bell? Oh, uh, yeah, if, you, um, if you're if you on YouTube and you subscribe to a channel, that's cool and all. And maybe YouTube will send you notifications about live streams and stuff. But very importantly, you know, if we're doing a live stream and you're not told that we're live, then it kind of defeats the purpose of, like, coming to a live stream. Then you don't get to... You know, like interact and ask questions or just see it like when it's actually live. It'll just be a regular video. So if you subscribe and then turn on the notification bell, then YouTube will make sure that it tells you when there's new content on the channel. And some people are like, oh, I don't know if I want to get like spammed with stuff like that. It's like, that eh, it's, really, it's not really spammy as, it, as much as it is like, you know, you'll be notified of a stream or a video and you'll be like, eh, I don't want to watch that. So you just skip it. So... The good thing is, is um, you know, if you um, are subscribed to a channel and have a notification bell on, then you'll know everything that they're doing and then kind of pick and choose what you want to watch. Yeah. Uh, 80 days now, 80 days. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Yo, Jackies, thank you very much for the uh, follow as well. Thank you guys for all the support. Yeah, I got the Commander Riker on again. That's right. It's a good hoodie, man. I got lots of them. It's, pro it's getting actually kind of warm here, so I'll probably pop something else on later today. It's starting to get a lot warmer now. We're towards, uh, well, almost May now. Almost the middle of the year check, can you believe it? After next month, it, we're already six months into 2024. Can you believe that? Yeah, around the time that we get to the Summer Games Fest and like, uh, well, like when we used to have E3, it's like the middle of the year. It's crazy. I think we're low on meat. I'll always try to have one person free. They're going to be building those houses. What do you recommend building first in a new game? Uh, probably your granary, but you have to build the logging camp first, otherwise you run out of materials. So the order should be logging camp so you can build stuff and get more materials. Then immediately your granary because you, you start with food in this game, like free bread, and if you don't store that, it... Um, I don't know, it's a lot more annoying to get food. You'll have to, like, get food all throughout the winter. But having a little bit of food in storage that comes for free lets you take a few months off of, like, nobody gathering food, and then you can just build. So I'd say logging camp, granary, and then, like, there's a building you can build for free, the hunting camp. It doesn't take any materials, so you can just pop that up real quick and then start hunting, too. And then the storage, the storehouse, in order to store firewood for the winter. And then after that, probably, uh, then your firewood cutter, so that we can have heat for the winter. And then, uh, then your saw pit in order to make planks for the church, and then more homes. And speaking of, there was something that just came to my mind. Oh yeah, we didn't build a well yet. Wells are for fire prevention, they're not even that important, really. 
Not until later. Uh, spring. Spring is when fires take place. There. Alright, we'll build a couple of those. Oh yeah, we played Colonize. That, there's videos of that on the channel. Yep. Yeah, the forager's good too. Yeah, and again, diversifying those food sources is important. When you build a house too, I, I would recommend building your first house to be a large, a large plot, like about maybe two two that looks like this, because then it'll get a lot of uh, vegetables. And food diversity, giving people berries, like if, if you can manage it your first year, berries, bread, and uh, meat, and then go into your second year with vegetables meat and berries. Important. Very important. Yeah, everything's flammable in this game, yeah. But I, I rarely see fires that often. Yeah, the bell doesn't tell you every time. The YouTube thing is that you used to subscribe and you'd be told all the time, but YouTube doesn't want you guys watching the same stuff all the time. They want you watching shorts and other things that help their bottom line and play more ads. So remember, it's it's kind of like you versus them to try to get to the content you want. So, they, you know, they want you in these uh, timeshare meetings watching endless ads, not watching content. That They don't care about that. They don't care about, you know... They don't celebrate creators. They want you watching ads. <laughs> so, so you got to bypass all their trash to get to what you want. You got to work. You got to work for it. You got to work to be entertained now. So there's that. But just subscribe and come in when you can. And you can also diversify where you follow the channel, too. You can join our Discord. Follow me on Instagram, exclamation point Instagram. Twitter, exclamation point Twitter. Or Twitch, exclamation point Twitch. That's why I started to branch out, because I've just noticed more and more it's, um, you know. It's more fun to have more people here and not appease the algorithm all the time. All right, we got an attack in 70 days. Let's speed up time a little bit. What's up, Solo? Welcome back, dude. Back for more Manor Lords. We're locked in. All right, I'm speeding up time a little bit. You've never been on Twitch? Twitch is cool. It's different, but, uh, you know, got to diversify. So the attack comes in about two months. We're, we're going to try to get our numbers up as best we can. We got 21... We got 13 men that can be uh, at arms for the village. We need to get up to 20. So we can have a full full group. Yeah, we may live stream from Japan, yeah. Mm -hmm. You find it difficult to find live games on YouTube? True. Yeah, YouTube uh, is really bad with its um, live exposure. You've got to really just be ex established already on YouTube to have even notifications go out for your live streams. And then also, you know, Twitch, people are used to jumping into Twitch streams that are 8, 10, 12 hours, you know. 
And YouTube, it's like, hey, how is hey? It's been two minutes. Is the stream ending soon? Like, <laughs> there's no attention span for the majority of YouTube because they're the platform doesn't really provide that. You know, it used to be like ten minute videos that then eventually went up to thirty minutes, which people consider now to be long form videos. Thirty minutes is a long video, apparently, but in comparison to sixty second shorts, sixty second ads videos that are like nine minutes long live streams seem unbearable and it's like yeah I would hate to actually watch a game being played the way it's the way it's played instead of watching a two minute video of hey guys here's a hundred thousand things you didn't know about manor lords did you know you could left click on the hitching post all right cool thanks guys watch next video bye <laughs> that's how it goes Guys, get my merch. Links at the bottom of the description, guys. Get my merch. Okay. That's how it goes. This is heavier than it looks. All right, 65 firewood, a lot of food. Another family moving in. Things are going, things are growing. I don't think there's an optimal distance thing going on. I, ha I, ha I haven't seen productivity be an issue because what happens is when people work at a job, it's a whole family working there. So when, you know, there's always somebody at home or always at their job. And then if they switch places, they, I don't know, it's just always working. Like I think a family could become sick and not work, but I don't think that's fleshed out yet. Dalton, thank you very much for the 36 months as a bear cub over on YouTube, dude. Appreciate the big O support. Thank you very much. Hmm. All right, the attack comes in 55 days. The big O attack. It's coming. Where's the uh, oxen? There it is. What's our other oxen name? Coonrad and Earhart. All right. It'll take a while. Yeah, there'll be a day one update on release, yeah. Got military ready? No, not until the attack. Not until they're here. Yeah, we'll start naming soldiers once we build a uh, a, a manor, and then a ret we'll build a uh, an army known as a uh, retinue, and then we can name names. That'll be cool. <laughs> you want me to name an oxen Ollie? I've tried to rename the oxen. I can't get it to work though. We're supposed to click on like the hitching post and I don't know. Somebody said it was a bug, so I just stopped caring. Have I thought about attacking the bandit camp? No, it wouldn't be good. Not with our militia. We would lose too many people. We'll wait until we have the retinue. Are fallen enemy soldiers lootable? No. Well, better build the death pit, though. 
must stay with his grip. Good old fashioned corpse pit. You know, chat, it's been a while since we've done a giveaway, though. I don't have any keys for Manor Lords at the moment, but we could we could do a giveaway, though, if you guys think it'd be cool. I do have keys for a, a, an industrial game known as uh, Captain of Industry, which somebody mentioned earlier in the chat. We, we could do a Captain of Industry giveaway. That might be another good game to play between now and uh, Manor Lords as well. It's a game that's really neat. Like you use construction equipment like excavators and dump trucks and stuff to build towns and, and stuff and more factories. Very cool. It's a great game. It kind of feels a little bit like Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, but more Factorio. It's somewhere between those two. But uh Yeah, we could we could do a giveaway. We could, we could do a giveaway. How do you win giveaways? Well, we'd ask that everybody watching subscribes for free, turns on the notification bell for free, follows for free, and then types exclamation point discord to where maybe in the next couple of minutes or at the end of the stream or whenever, I will do a giveaway for Captain of Industry in the general section of the discord. So you just basically have to jump on the discord for free too. And if you don't win this giveaway or if you're not interested in it, We'll still do more giveaways of Captain of Industry and other games and possibly Manor Lords next week, like Monday, Tuesday, maybe. Maybe we'll get keys uh, or after release, too. Never know. Never know. If I end up with some more Manor Lords keys, I don't need it. I already got the game. I'm going to give it to you guys because that's cool. I like doing giveaways. It is quite fun to see people get excited in the Discord and win something just for hanging out. So I'll let you know. And also, we try to do giveaways at random times, not just when I'm live, so that way people in different time zones or who hang out at the Discord at random times, too, have a chance to win. Yeah, we're doing a big O giveaway. That's right. Big O. It's cool to give away free stuff. It's very nice, too, of devs to just be like, hey, our game came out, or hey, we've got an update. Here's like 10, 15, 20 keys. Enjoy give them to your viewers and it's like wow that's really nice man yeah this is coming to council uh, I think after release it'll be on Xbox alright let's beat up time again an attack is coming in 46 days. Okay. How are we doing on fuel? 73. Great. How many months? 12. All right. We got a year supply of firewood. Keep cutting down logs. That's cool. A whole year of firewood is great. Oh, 
Oh, this song. L listen to the strings. We're going to have to make planks, too, for the manor. We'll hopefully build the manor by the beginning of year three. Or is it year... What year do we start in? Zero or one? Oh, okay. Wait, year, year two? What? Oh. Oh, it's, it's January. That's why. So we'll probably have it built by the beginning of year three. Another house complete. We can store 28 logs. Are towers automatically fire? Yeah, I don't know how the towers actually work. I built manor manors before with defenses, and it says that you're supposed to be able to garrison villagers and or militia in there, but I haven't figured it out quite yet. We'll we'll talk about that when we build the manor. See if we can figure that out. See if we can get it locked in. Good. Exponentially more and more people are moving in. Now 17 men. Build a trade post. Attack coming in 23 days. Hopefully we can get more people into town. That'll be cool. Nope, I haven't really had much lag in this game at all. It's very optimized. Yep, the town's spread out. Yep. We'll be filling in all that space with more homes. Everything's got its place. Okay, what do we got? 16 days to the attack. Hopefully we can get a full force. There will be deaths. We'll need to import more weapons too, which is important to get our tannery up so we can export shoes then import weapons. Better get that tannery going. Build that there for now. Oh, you like when people walk to make their own roads? Yeah, foundations like that, too. Where you can, like, paint the uh, ground with restriction zones, and then they'll just find their way around it. Austria's kind of like that way, too. 
where they will walk the shortest distance and then you can build fences to guide them. Pretty neat. Yeah, we're going to save some development points for later. I'm probably going to do charcoal, but we're not going to worry that about that for a little bit. Charcoals are really good things. So we don't have to keep cutting down so many trees all the time. I think. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, trade and money making in this game is easy. Once we start selling shoes or bows from the Fletcher, it's over. We've won. Another bandit camp. Now we got one close to our territory. Oh boy. There goes additional homes. Oh good, almost half the forest is cleared. Almost there. Yeah, research... Uh, development points are almost like research points, yeah. You can't um, get them all, though. I think there should be more ways where you can get development points after building a city, like building... I don't know, like a cathedral or something. I hope there's ways to get extra development points somehow. Yeah, that's right. The uh, There's this uh, eventual better deals thing that you can get that reduces import prices by 10. That's pretty helpful. Military skill tree? Kind of. There's ways to make weapons, but nothing to... Well, uh, troops have their own thing going on. We'll cover that when we build our uh, manor shortly. Hopefully. Okay, the attack begins. Here they go. The battle begins. Where are they at? Oh, it'll take them quite some time to get here. Okay, so 18 enemy troops are going to have to cross the whole map to come and attack us. Which is good, because that gives us time to get the population up a bit. Two minutes away from, well, it'll be less than five days. Approximately, but yeah. Hmm, food looks great. Firewood looks great. Around ten months for each of those. Great, great. Okay. 
Okay, let's take a look at that enemy army. before they get to us we'll try to have the battle on, uh, on uh, maybe a hill here we'll take the high ground just waiting to see if we can get more families you looking for streaming advice uh, the biggest advice I can give you about that is uh, just start it sounds like not really good advice, but um, the biggest thing is the your first streams will not be great. You're just learning, and that's okay. And the most important thing that you do is you get, you force yourself to learn by doing, and then you start making a schedule too. So if you start streaming like uh, two or three times a week, and you keep yourself to it, and make a schedule that way, and write it down, and then make yourself do that. Then it goes from making yourself do that to wanting to do that. And it becomes a lot more fun. And that fun can become infectious. And then things start to become more natural as you feel comfortable. And uh, it's all good. Streaming is fun. Bronco, thanks for the follow. Thank you for subbing, everybody. Welcome to all the new members and followers. Thank you guys for all the support. We got an incoming invasion. We're going to deal with that. Fun times will be had. All right, well, now we got 18. <laughs> Where will all the raptor pens go? Don't you worry. We'll deal with that shortly. It's a secret. Can I stay with the screen? Oh good, and we're building a trade post. I think we'll leave people on a sign so construction can get done. Town really start to grow. Or uh, is starting to grow. Good. Yeah, we will grow up to be big and strong. They're not even through the first county yet. These guys aren't even going to arrive until April. Yep. Yeah. Less than uh, five days now. They're going to have like a corner plot. Nice. Yo, James. Thank you very much for the 10, bro. $10 reduce over there. Thank you very much, dude. It's very nice. See if the bot reads that one out. How long have we been streaming for? About four hours now. 
I was gonna take a break, but now I'm locked in. We're gonna do an extendo stream You're right now. You're the reason my Steam library is so big. Keep up the awesome streams. Awesome, dude. Good. All part of my evil plan to show uh, chat more games. Eighteen is just the first uh, wave. There'll be more. There'll be more. Besides, it would kind of be... If they attacked us with, like, hundreds and hundreds of troops and there was just, like, 30 of us, I mean, there's no way we could win. It'd be kind of an unwinnable scenario. We got a while for enemy troops. We'll keep those trees there. They look nice. Uh, do we have any battles on the other streams? We do, uh, especially from yesterday. You might have to scroll around for it. But what I have been doing is I've been making saves for some of these big battles. And I'll be putting out a military, a military tutorial soon. So we'll talk about everything to do with the military soon enough. How to recruit militia, retinue, how to recruit mercenaries, how to pay those people, how to build the manor, um, why to build it, how to tax people. Uh, so you can pay for your military, but show off some battles. Techniques in battles, like different stances, like hold your ground or give ground or balanced or whatnot. So we'll, we'll talk about a lot of things that we've learned about the military. Okay, they're about he Where are they? Here. Oh, pff, they're not even close. We got so much more time to prepare. I'm going to develop uh, gunpowder and M60, brother. we set up a defensive position over on the ridge. Boy, these guys get here. I'm going to have an attack helicopter designed before they get here. Yeah, it'll be a video on the channel. Um, sometime next week. Not sure when yet. A little military tutorial. They're there. I think, um... I'm gonna take the high ground by the river somewhere. Yeah, maybe right here. We'll see if another family joins us. We'll probably take some losses here, the first attack, but uh, after that... We're going to come back strong. We'll have to see how the... Uh, th th this hopefully becomes the more challenging, brutal military um, campaign that really has a lot more attacks. That's what I'm expecting. It is a more exponential... Exponentially lar larger attacks. Hopefully. Hopefully.
Okay. Definitely gonna get people making planks. Nineteen families. So at least they're um, we have more troops than they do. We'll see if we can get one more. One more person. Otherwise maybe we'll have the battle here. They're coming. Yeah, we'll, we'll see uh, what happens with the bandits. Nice to see your stream. Thank you, Android. Welcome to it. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's time we get into position. Okay, the attack begins. All right, let's defend. Mm -hmm. We'll fight them down by the road. Uh, don't run. Walk. Okay. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's a medieval city builder with combat. Plays a little bit like Total War. We'll be streaming on release, yep. Mm-hmm. We'll have our schedule updated down below. Yeah, you, yo, 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 you, yo. Okay. The battle begins. Can we build bridges? Not at the moment. That'd be cool for the future, though. Uh, what's the difference between Stellaris and Star Citizen? Uh, the level of corporate greed between the two companies. Okay. Well, we don't have a high ground bonus, but uh, I ain't going down there.
Here they come. Now we don't have any bow or arrow at the moment. We Luckily we just got these weapons for free from the king. And now it's time to defend. Here they come. Still got a long way to go. You're nervous for the battle? I know. Some of our people will die. I think. We have 116% effectiveness though at this uh, at this area. These guys have 107. He just noticed him. Here we go. They've taken some losses. The enemy has. They went from 18 down to 11. We've killed seven of them. Oh, well, killed eight. Killed nine. They're going to break after this. One more loss and they'll flee. There they go. Wow. We killed them without taking a single loss. Look at that. No way. Good job, everybody. RTB. We did it! We won the first battle! That was just the first battle, though. There'll be more than that. Hell yeah. Dubs in the chat, let's go! Alright, I, I, th I thought somebody would die. Alright. Now again, that was just the first attack. Th those are going to be more frequent and bigger now. And it's only going to get worse. That was just kind of a little warm-up. <laughs> hey, I think it was smart, though. We held the high ground, we defended... Let those guys weaken themselves a little bit, and then we push forward and cleared cleared house. Wow. Whew. All right, yeah, dub in the chat. Let's go. Very nice. Yeah, there'll be upgrades for retinue in the future, and we can make those troops better. Oh, is it? Uh, oh, yeah, spring again. So get ready for house fires, everybody. Yay! Yay! That was awesome. Really good. <laughs> yeah. Everybody just kind of like uh, 
chilled out now and going back to their daily lives. Alright, we're going to need the corpse pit dug and then we're going to pick up all those bodies. Otherwise it'll give a negative debuff to the town. People don't... kind of kind of hurts the advertising campaign and the pamphlets for the town. Once I come out to glorious um, Stadoni, we got ourselves uh, the old corpse pit and uh, the pile of, pile of bodies. Come on down, bring the kids, you know. It'll be fun for the whole family. Wow, Crimson Wolf just dropped a 10 tier 1 bomb over on Twitch. Damn. What a way to celebrate. Thank you, dude, for the 10 gifted subs over on Twitch, man. Wow. That is that is crazy cool. Don't forget to follow, guys. We're going to do a giveaway of Captain of Industry sometime today after this stream. And um, I'm going to be giving away some games, I think, the whole rest of this week to celebrate up until uh, Manor Lord's dropping. So subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Let's keep rocking, man. We, we That was just our first... That was our first... Uh, battle and kind of like our first real felt like at first year that was uh muy bueno hell yeah all right that's cool now we're gonna get more more troops and stronger troops so our, our goal now is to try to Build the manor. So we're going to try to cut down this whole forest, build a manor, and then get retinue. Which is like our own per like personal knights or security. So. Uh, what's your advice for a small content creator who's worried about streaming with a very heavy accent? Um, well. And Tribal, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Um, I speak with people with accents all the time, every day. The more that I've done that, I can cut through accents and get what people are saying pretty easily. I have spoken to a lot of people who don't know exactly the word that they're trying to say, and they can explain it and stuff. And I think as we have a more international world where people are used to seeing people stream all the time with different accents from different countries, I think it's okay. And you should embrace that because, you know, I mean, if you're trying your best to speak English with a French accent, and you're a streamer and stuff, people will just kind of eventually not care and yeah, maybe they'll pick on you for saying something differently but you gotta embrace that you know that's okay it's all good don't think of that as a weakness think of that as like a it's a unique modifier dude it's a mod you're not vanilla you're not vanilla man it's, it's a mod for you and people like mods people like downloading mods and installing them all the time Wait, did we lose somebody? We have one spear and one... Wait, did we... I don't think we lost anybody. We, we started the battle with 19 people, now we have 20. A new family moved in. A new family moved in again. Actually, I can't even tell. I just don't know where the extra weapon went. Oh, and now it's gone. I don't know. Somebody must have put it in their house. That's fine. No demo for Manor Lords at the moment, as I could tell. But the upper right corner. I mean, I got access, accent too. You know, when I speak Swedish. They know. I do svenska? Nay. You'll tell us more svenska. I do svenska? Nay. You'll tell us more svenska. They they know. They can tell. It's all good. Okay, we gotta keep cutting down trees. Put a full group on logging. And what about firewood? It doesn't hurt to get more firewood than we need either. What is this new game mode? Uh, it's a new one for the channel that we haven't really showcased before. Um, I was kind of trying to tell everybody we're starting a new city on a new map, on a new game mode, 
uh, which is called On the Edge, which focuses more on getting constantly attacked and invaded. We just successfully uh, defended against an invasion, so that was pretty cool. Um, this one, we're just fighting bandits at the start, but it could... I don't know what lies in store for us. It could just be more and more bandits or, like, higher numbers. I, I'm not sure. But it'd be really cool to be surrounded by, like, a, a bandit horde of, like, 200. And we're trying to defend with, like, um, you know, like, 50 troops or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm just judging my, uh, like, my description of it based on the description in the, uh, before we play it. So we'll see what it's like. We're building six more homes. Wow. We got plenty of breathing room. Yeah, Captain of Industry is a very fun game. Uh, building to cut wood down. Do you have enough people? Yeah. We're, we're basically... I'm employing people to cut down this whole forest so I can build a, a manor there. So I'm, I'm basically just trying to get this stuff out of the way. And I'm trying to get more planks, too, because I know that thing takes a lot of planks. So i got people working at the saw pit full-time. Amir Yassan, thank you very much for the uh, three. Dude, appreciate it. The three Romanian dollar dues, dude. Appreciate it. No deaths, great job. I don't think so. I, I don't think any of our people died. I'm, I'm not sure exactly. Well, alright. We, we'd know if we saw, like, a shield on the ground. Well, actually, maybe not, because some of the enemies did have shields, too. I don't know. I don't think we took any losses. We'll get those bodies cleaned up, though, in a minute. Gotta have someone come over and clean up the old, uh... Get working at the old burial pit. Good. No, I think the decision to not be able to loot enemies' bodies comes down to it may be too easy. Like, we just killed like 20-ish dudes, so to have that many shields and uh, weapons and stuff would be, I guess, too much to sell or too much too easy to equip ourselves. So I think it's a, a gameplay decision to make it so you can't do anything with that. The same as if you lose troops. Like, if, if you've got troops who, you know... Drop their sword in battle. Can't pick it up. Once it touches the ground, it has to be re remade, reforged. You know, it's the five-second rule. Like, you wouldn't want to pick up a, a sword that someone else dropped after five seconds. It could have germs on it. Gross. Now there's just the medieval era. Just uh, just the medieval. Not sure how, this one, how much this will be at early access. We'll have to see. Yeah, now we got 21 people in the city. Oh, by defeating those bandits, too, we got 360 influence. Why do you have to bury corpses? Uh, it'll give a negative debuff to the town eventually for the approval, which will slow down people moving in. And additionally, they'll probably, in the future of the game, bring disease, and that would be bad. Rats could, I don't know, mess around with those bodies and then come over to the town, and that would be bad. So we're going to bury those bodies. Just got to get the old burial pit finished up. Does it even need any... Someone's just got to come over and build the thing. Alright, I'm going to cut back on firewood till they build that burial pit. Or logs. Should we do logs? Yeah, I'm going to cut back on logs. Alright, go build some stuff. 
Chad is doing a Price is Right showdown in the chat. It's almost like $29.99. $29.98, Bob. $27.50. $34.99, Bob. Actual retail price of Manor Lords is all the money. All of it. Yeah, the herbalist will make a... Uh, he's got a uh, thing you can build. Or sorry, the forger. Herb garden, yeah. Herb and herb garden. Takes gold, though, or silver. We don't have it. You think this will be free-to-play? Yeah, the free-to-play battle pass. Season... Get access to Season 1 of Manor Lords. Get the Deluxe Burgage plot now. With Deluxe Ultra Mega Chicken Coop. There's Deluxe Ultra and Mega. Not to mention Select Gourmet Premium Plus. Subscribe to Manor Lords Plus and get access to a sharper spear. I'd buy that for a dollar. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh God, don't even, yeah. Yeah, imagine if he went with like uh, any other publisher. Greg, we love what you're doing here, but have you decided to monetize each and every aspect of the game? No, just just the game itself. I'd I'd like to be paid for my labor and time investment. No, it's not enough, Greg. Look, here's what we're willing to do. Day one, Sunny Skies DLC. It makes it rain slightly less in the game. $29.95. <laughs> the, uh, the Sunny Day Pass. Manor, Manor Lords Plus. Get access to the, the, the year one season pass for Manor Lords. That's a lot of firewood people are carrying. Monetize the shrubbery. I mean, technically, that's what I've done. I mean, if you guys want to spam that blueberry emote, blueberry bush emote, you guys got to become members or subscribers. It was all part of my evil plan all along. Dude, that blueberry bush from farthest frontier, though, has been so... Hilarious on the channel for lurking and for when we plant blueberry bushes for those custom farms. It's hilarious. I love when chat does that. That's funny. Chat's funny. Oh, I guess we're going to need a stone mine too. Can't build the manor without stone. As a manner of fact... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Let's get to work. Teehee. Oh, the game performance is great. I, I honestly think you're not going to really need a super powerful PC to enjoy this at like a decent frame rate. I don't know the exact specs and I'm no hardware expert, but I think it's very well. Like just kind of playing this for this long, I really haven't had any issues aside from a couple of funny animations every once in a while where a wagon will be pulled backwards or something. That's about it. It's a well-made game. Villager skins, yeah. We're going to take all the day one basic features that you know and love and put them behind a 700 meter thick, 10,000 meter high paywall.
Hmm. Yeah, the moonwalking cart, exactly. Okay, we got five free fl uh Wait, did they build the damn thing yet? Okay, they did. Alright. Quickly bury those bodies. It doesn't say anything about bodies on screen, but... It eventually becomes a problem. Yeah. I'm just going to have three people pick them up real quick. And we'll go back to logging. What's up, pugs? Now it's spring again. We get to chill. Uh, so exciting after that. Uh, that battle was like really quite eventful. That's what happens with those farthest frontier raids too, where the game is very, pr the music very nice, and at the rainy season and all that, and then boom, invasion, and then right back into peaceful summer, and more importantly, the autumn. Oh my god, the autumn! Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god, the autumn! Tier 2s are going to look nice. Actually, I think that's our next goal is to get to Tier 2. And we just need clothing. So now time to get the... Uh, yeah. The tannery is under construction. So once that's done... What do we got for hides? 51? Wow. That's going to have to be working full bore. we got to pick up all these logs. These are some logs, some big bad logs. The bounty log, brother, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It'll take a while to clear all that out. Okay, so now I don't think we get attacked for another two years. So the goal will be to try to build our fortress and then, you know, have it ready to go in the next two years. We've got till probably year f spring year four. Check on those. I think they cleaned them all up. People are still coming out here. I don't know if the bodies just don't show up. Alright, here's what I'll do. I think most of them are cleaned up. I'll just let one person work there for like the rest of the year. And we'll leave everybody else on construction. Short circuit? You mean Johnny Five? Johnny Five is alive? We built this city. Dude, there's a lot of people moving in, dude. Now I want to leave more people on the sign to do more construction. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, the rain is so peaceful. Peaceful chat. Yeah, I figured out the zoom thing. I don't know what it caused it, and I don't know how I fixed it. I just reloaded the save a few times and boom. So I don't know. I don't know. More gas station simulator after Manor Lords? Well, we have an exclamation point schedule command, and I'll I'll put what we plan to do in the next week there. So you'll see all the upcoming stuff we got locked in. But, you know, it's subject to change all the time, so you never know. Like, one minute I might be playing more Manor Lords in the future, next minute we could get access to, you know, something something else early. Like, for example, I think um, in the next couple of days we're going to play Bellright. Because a lot of people have been asking me to play that, and that comes out next week, too. And Bellride is like, um... Well, it's like Manor Lords meets Medieval Dynasty a little bit. Somewhere in between. A little, little uh, Banner Lords in there, too. So Bellright, which we'll play next week, is basically, yeah. Banner Lords, but Medieval Dynasty, but Manor Lords. I don't know. A lot, a lot of Lords going on there. Banner, Manor, Lords... A lot of stuff going on. Rampy, what's up, dude? Welcome. Welcome, Chatty Chatters. Good to see you all locked in. Another house complete. How's my morning going? Well, it's going pretty good. We're now down to less than five days for... Um, you know, Manor Lord's release. And I think in a little bit we're going to play uh, Construction Simulator with our, our good friends uh, Harry, Rick, and Alex. And we're going to take a look at some of the new DLCs and stuff there. It's been a while since I played with them and my my friends are concerned. They're like, dude, like I know you're locked into Manor Lord's, but like, do you want to play something? And I've been like, no, nah, I want to play Manor Lord's. So I've been, I've been holding off playing with them, but last couple of nights I've been playing with like Dirty Lumberjack and, and uh, Bradford for um, gr gray Zone Warfare. And it's been a while since I played with Rick and uh, Harry and uh, Alex a little more recently with uh, Content Warning, but gonna try to get more people locked in. Yeah, you know, Rick and Harry means there'll be shenanigans. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. No, you get, a, you get a timer for the first attack, but then you're just supposed to know on the settings that you chose that it's supposed to come every other year. So every... Uh, even number spring will get an attack. So year four, six, eight. As far as I know. Unless we go out and attack the bandits, we can also have a war in between. Like on the odd number years, once we got a big enough military, we can go and attack their camps. But I don't want to go out there yet. I want to wait a little bit. I want our people, instead of being in the military and fighting, uh, doing construction and getting our manor built. Yeah, we'll get in some good games with Red. I think um, we're gonna. I want to play maybe Humanity Z has a new update, and I know Red likes that. And Red's very good at base building. And the very update for Humanity Z is called the Stronghold update. It's about base building. So maybe me and Colt and Red could play, and you know, me and uh, Colt can go out and get stuff and bring it back, and then we'll work with Red to build stuff together. Red's very good at um, organizing and farming. And building stuff, and so we'll, I don't know, we'll see if Colt knows a cool spot, we'll help Red to build it. And that way we can see both the exploration and the building together. No, I don't think multiplayer will be coming to Manor Lords. If it does, it will be a very long time. Like, release, like after release, like 1.0, like years from now, maybe, perhaps.
No sport storage left for production. Oh, we need somebody at this door house. Oh, we got that. Thank you, Android, for watching, dude. Appreciate the support, man. Red must be good at Anno. That's a good question. I don't I don't know if I've ever played that with him. I, I'm so tempted to go back to Anno 1800 again, but I know how much of a damn time sink it is. I, last year with She Fox and Pinto and a few other randoms throughout the time, we played Anno from pretty much like February of 2023 all the way to like July. And we were playing like pretty much every weekend. And it still wasn't enough time. That game's crazy. And we played with all the DLCs on, and you know, you try to do all the things like build the world's fair and uh, build skyscrapers and take over the whole map and all that stuff, and it's just crazy. Yeah, we were we were talking about that earlier. Like, what will the next Anno be? I think it's got to go back to a remake. I think they kind of hit a brick wall. I don't know if they have or not, but me, it's like, if I were in that position, I mean, they've done the future, then they've done really far in the future, and then they've done, like, you know, the 1400s, and... It would have to be, I don't know, Revolutionary War America? Like, more of the Age of Sail and stuff, but... I don't know, man. Because the Anno 1800, you know, starts with sailboats and, and gunpowder and stuff and stays that way for quite some time. And then you get all the, the steamships and the dreadnoughts and stuff, and then you start working your way up to electricity and fuel production. And... You get, like, the best of both worlds. It's, Anno 1800 feels like two games in one... mini games in one. It's a very well done game. But I want more DLCs. I, I don't know why the hell they would just stop. Well, I think they stopped the DLCs because they're getting ready to announce a new one sometime. But I think there was still a lot more territory to cover in 1800. There really was. Like India, China, Japan would have all been great independent areas to go to. I don't know. Good amount of planks, good amount of timber. We need, um, yeah, we need stone now to build the fort. <laughs> Anno 2016. What a weird time it would be to pick that. Are they... 
She's taking those planks from the saw pit to the storehouse. But they, is she actually transporting stuff? Yeah, I, I, all right. I don't, I don't know. They're right next to each other, so I don't know. I guess she's transporting them one at a time. Because she doesn't have a cart. That's fine. Thank goodness we put the... That, that, that's why I put the uh, woodcutter and the saw pit next to the storehouse. Because they have, they have to transport those things, I'm pretty sure, one at a time. Which would be insane. To have to transport that any further distance. Bandit stole firewood. Whatever. About time we start trading, too. Hate to trade planks, though. In the future, we'll trade excess... Um, Maybe stone. Hmm, we usually do planks and firewood. Firewood's a bad idea, but uh, I need some money. Gotta have some cash, y'all. Yo, gaming and tech with the 100 Norwegian kroner. Thank you very much, dude. Tech. Thank you. Thank you, dude. Eh. Damn, we went from five families up to 13 now. And we've got about two and a half years into the game. Good. Hey, she finally got a wagon. Or oh, else is going to have to be upgraded. We almost got the forest cleared out. Then I'll put a forester here and then we'll just start growing trees in this whole area. Which is kind of cool. D with those damn bears. What the hell is this? Oh, one of those trees again. I don't know why the bot didn't read that, but uh, Anno 14.040 BC Dawn of Time. Yeah, that'd be interesting. You go all the way back into the past? I don't, yeah. The thing about Anno is that I think people now see it as like a thing with a lot of trade going back and forth. So I, I'm not sure. Oh, now it reads it. Come on, man. Yeah, this is pretty much the launch version, but I think there'll be more bug fixes and things like that. And then more content will be added later. 
Anno 14.040 BC, dawn of time. Okay, now I have to do math. What happened to the flute song? Uh, I think the flute songs don't play until we get to the next tier. We gotta start making some clothing. Which actually we're making now, so we might be able to upgrade. We're starting to make uh, tanned hides, so... Oh, it's not ready yet. We're gonna make that a high priority. Once the tannery's done, we'll start getting clothes, then we upgrade houses, then I think the next tier will unlock it. We're still in our humble beginnings, even though we're, we've gotten a battle behind us. Post-apocalyptic Anno? Now that's interesting. That'd be interesting. Looking good. Yeah, they should make what, what they should do is make a game on that new Netflix series called Fallout. That'd be good. It seemed like a really good show, so it'd probably make for a good game. All of this just works. You could take place all over, like one in London, one in the East Coast. Hell, they could even do one in Vegas. I, I'd like that. I'd buy that for a dollar. I'd buy that for a dollar. That's that's a good show to make into a game. Oh yeah, there you go. There's your there's your flute. There's your flute music chat right there. It's very subtle, but yeah. Vegas doesn't even sound like it would be a good Fallout game. I bet no one would buy it. T T he, <laughs> yeah. T. It'd be the most unpopular of them all. I want to play in regular Vegas, not this new Vegas. I want classic, <laughs> new Vegas classic. Cool. All right. Oh, I noticed over on you the YouTubes we're almost to one thousand likes. Can chat get to one thousand before the next minute is up? Let's see, chat. You got 52 seconds to get to 1,000 likes. Let's see if, like, 75 people will, will hit the like button. That'd be pretty cool to hit 1K. That'd be cool. All right, what else do we need? Oh, yeah, we need the uh, the stone. 
we got to get that built before we can start construction in the manor. Well, okay, we just need 10 people to hit the like button and we hit the 1K. 10 lucky people get to get in before the 1K. Wow. They did it. How did you do that, chat? That was crazy. Wow. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Thanks for the support. Okay, we gotta come up with a, a name for this save. Uh, save the date. Getting married, chat. Married to the screets. Step of my game up. Okay. All right, we did a little extendo stream on Manor Lords. I was only planning to do about a four-hour stream, but I was having so much fun, and the new game mode's cool. Uh, again, this one was called the uh, On the Edge game mode, right? Th this one right here, which we haven't seen. Like Prosperity was kind of in the demo. We're doing our main playthrough on this one, but this last one was cool, and we'll continue with that tomorrow morning. All right, I'm going to go live right now with my friends for some construction simulator. There's probably going to be some shenanigans, some havoc, and some fun. So if you're on Twitch, just stay right here. If you're on YouTube, we'll live redirect you to uh, our new Big O stream, and then we'll be back for more Manor Lords tomorrow. And then we'll uh, find out what we're going to play tonight. We'll be mixing some stuff up and moving things around, but have been going hard into Manor Lords, so we're going to be taking a step back just a little bit. We'll be playing it every day, but... Cool. All right, I'll see you all right now for our next Big O stream. I will see you there right now. Let's go. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Let's put on a banger soundtrack. Let's do, uh, let's see. I got it. We'll be back. <laughs>